Hey, Klobu and Voter J. <clears throat> actually have the intro show this time. Hold on. Which, which, which Slugcat's gonna be? Oh, Spearmaster! Uh, so, I played Gold Man for the first time off stream, and <laughs> there's a jump scare. Um, do we have uh, the mods enabled right now? Yes, we do. Okay. Um, I beat Gormand off stream. I would like to replay Gormand, and I would like to finish his food tracker, which is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to prioritize finishing the food tracker because I know how to do the campaign. Um, yeah. Gormand is the only character that I haven't played on stream so far, and he is quite fun. You know what I get for following his food track thing? Unfortunately, yes. Which is incredibly disappointing, because somebody felt like spoiling that. I already did that game. You teach me a tutorial for something I've already done. Okay, well, it'll be fine. We'll just have to... I'll just play with things as we go. Where is this shaded? I don't recognize this area. Oh, granted, I, I don't really hang around in shaded that much. At least, I, I would like to eat the food as a meal. You went AFK and your rain will still in your shelter and Green Lizard just came in and killed you. Um, that can happen sometimes. Typically things won't go in shelters, but you're not entirely safe, safe in a shelter. Have I not played Gourmand before? I've played Gourmand before. I have not finished Gourmand's food tracker. Okay, I know where I am now. Speaking of that, I would like to, uh... Have I seen any of the other things related to what Gourmand does? I mean, I've beaten Gourmand. I'm fairly familiar with his abilities. Hey, Wardux. Uh... This should be... Yeah. There's a shelter here. Thankfully, as, uh... Well, man, you stout with a, a lantern and the ability to make lanterns. Uh, no, I have not, Clover. Yeah, Gourmand's features are one. Gourmand is basically a whale gun, right? He deals insanely high damage, but is very slow to attack because every time you throw a spear, like what happened right there, you get exhausted. Let's see this lantern mouse. Should you get this game? Yes or no? That is a complicated question. Uh, it is not a game for everybody. Uh, I would say. Uh, it's probably... I don't get the game unless it seems like the type of game that you would be interested in. 
I heard it was 2.5x Clover, but is it 3x? I made a video saying it was 3. Okay. I don't know. It's just I had been told it was 2.5. So. Hmm. Fuck, that missed. over here. It has been a long time since I've gone this way and shaded. Uh, is this shoreline? Hell made that noise. Ew, camouflage. So we could stockpile camouflage and get, um, shoreline. Yeah, seems reminiscent of shoreline. We don't have very much food, though. I'm not sure we have enough coma to get in here, either. I don't generally go in shaded very much, so not certain on where we are, but this seems reminiscent of shoreline. Yeah, we didn't uh if we rest we'll have enough cover. Uh yes, Clover. I'm aware that he can craft uh Singularity bombs, but I don't have a bomb, nor do I have two coma flowers, and I'm much more interested in raising my coma so I can actually, like, play the game. Okay, I guess we can go visit the moon. I think we need to eat some stuff over here. Hmm. Or like a jetfish or something. We could also stop by Subterranean, get a mole lizard. Down Maybe we do that. Maybe we wrap around bottom left. Go Subterranean. Sure, like an extra Subterranean, right? We could also just start spitting items out of ourselves. Just hold X, right? Okay. Vulture Gob could come in handy. See what else we can get. Okay, bubble weed. I would actually like that. Yeah. Um. We don't really need a lantern right now. Bubble weed could come in handy. Is 
there's more breath than survivor. Interesting. You have no idea how to navigate this region in any meaningful way. I forget. What are these leeches doing? What? Were they just falling from the sky? They must have latched onto a vulture or something. Oh, there's the vulture. King vulture, huh? Okay. We still need to eat a bat fly. Oh, that'll be difficult. Uh, we can do that later. Oh. Salamander. Mm. We can probably find a better one to eat. Let's eat a bat fly. Hang on. In order to eat a bat fly, we need to lower our hunger. Okay. Get rid of that bat nip. Put the bubble weed back inside us. Take my pearl back. Let's eat a jellyfish. We need a jellyfish. Okay. Drop pearl. Let's put our bubble weed. We gotta lower our hunger to eat stuff. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, I guess we have that bubble weed. Okay. Do we need to eat a salamander? Uh, I'm not sure, because I guess we didn't actually eat it. Start spitting stuff out of us. Batnip, get out of here. Uh, vulture grub. I don't want to aggro anger that because I don't want to deal with the vulture. Okay, we do need to eat a salamander. Nice. Let's go ahead and put this bubble weed back inside us. And go eat a uh, jellyfish. Cauliflower slug cat. Okay. Ooh, it wants us to eat. It wants us to take drugs next. got the shelter here. Uh, oh, he took a spear. That's annoying. Uh, that's not true, Metanerd. That's definitely not true. I know at the very least you have to get black lizards, the mole lizards. There we go. We'll finish the food tracker when we get to the food tracker. We don't have to worry about preempting it. You know, you don't have to tell me what's on the list. We're fine. We can. I'm capable of playing games myself. Don't worry. Consume everything. Consume everything day? Yeah. More or less. Uh, okay. I would like to consume you. Ooh, woo. Uh, I forget if I need to consume you, but I would like to, regardless.
Let me just... It's fine, it's fine. Just... You can craft... It, it doesn't matter, Metten. We're playing the game, okay? You don't... You don't have to backseat how to eat food. I think the ending of the blueberries like that. It was quite nice. Who do YouTube stream viewer demand stream with follow a specific diet and watch this these eating habits? Just eat. Please kill the jetfish. Thank you. Jesus, fuck. And the wiki. Look. Please just stop talking about the food. I I would like to just play the game and experience trying to finish the food tracker. I I really don't need you guys to be like constantly talking about what I need to eat. I kind of. Take a pearl. Isn't eating bubble weed impossible? I. I don't... It, like, I'm just trying to play the game. I, it doesn't matter if it's impossible or not. Down for some reason. Mm. Rest in peace, that pearl. He's gonna take us to garbage wastes. I want to go subterranean. Let me look at the. to subterranean let's see to get there i have to go down there right and then take that one there and go left okay i see what to do I'm gonna keep an eye out for another spear because we lost ours. I'd like it if it's a thing. No, that's just a weird terrain. Hello, jetfish. Oh, let me grab you. Thank you. Oh, we got that. Where's 
Where's his army of 30 slug cats? He hasn't done that yet. Before the storyline of Blue Boy Slug Cat, yeah. Uh, Blue Boy Slug Cat takes place either well, when you meet Gormanda's Blue Boy Slug Cat, that was after uh, Do we need to eat a snail? We may very well need to. I suppose I should Bring one, just in case. The fancy looks coast, but funny in a weird way. Yeah. You hate that snails continue to pop after killing them. It is quite annoying. Snail acquired. Okay, and then we go up here. I think. Take out that bubble weed. Okay, um, getting a little late in the day. Let's rest in this shelter. He's, he's putting together a spear. Chonky Slug, he's very chonky. I'm like 60% sure this is to subterranean. Okay, bubble fruit. Bubble fruit's good. Alright, just in case it's something to make it a meal with, I'm gonna bring it to the next room. Because making it a meal gives me an extra food. Uh, there is not. I probably should have kept my lantern around, but oh well. 
Bubble weed's good. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to take that bottom path now that we got this bubble weed. Yeah, there we go. Looking pretty dark. This seems pretty subterranean like. Nice. Let's go and get this bubble weed out of here. I don't think we'll need it anymore. Oh, I guess I could take it just in case. I think this is the uh, Leviathan room. I'll have to get past. Coming subterranean from this side. Um, so we need a bit more food. Not seeing anything to eat quite yet. Can I make, like... Yeah. Oh, there's some food. Welcome to Centipedes and Monster Kelp. Hello, Monster Kelp. Goodbye, Monster Kelp. I didn't kill it. Wow. I don't need this bubble weed anymore. Let's keep an explosive in our chest. And let's go rest at that just so we can make sure we don't get stuck in subterranean. Um, yeah, so Gourmet's mechanics. He really has a ton of them. Um, he's got the fact that he deals insane spear damage, but gets exhausted after one spear throw. He is fat, so... He can, like, land on enemies and move into them if he's moving quickly to deal damage to them and kill them. He can just magically procure items from his stomach using hunger. You need to settle this with your incorrect print. What are my keyboard rain world bindings? I play on controller clipper. No, oh, centipede. Dead -a Here, let me get some scav rep. Hey, hey, it's fine, it's fine. Here. Have a grenade. Thank you for lantern. Come on, get. Same body used for Celeste, but grab and dash instead. Interesting. Yeah, did I need to eat a centipede? I guess I didn't. Oh. Let's go man deal hunter damage? No, no, no. Much more than hunter damage. Alright. Here you go. Uh, it's either 2.5 or 3x damage. Um, I have heard conflicting uh, reports on that. There you go. Would you like an explosive? Have an explosive. Said, have an explosive. No, no, no. It's drastically higher than Hunter. It one shots most lizards. Thank you. 
Whoa! Dude. What a jackass. Where's my snack? Get back here. I wanna eat you. There is food tracker, Moy. Uh, <clears throat> they keep track of what you've eaten, and when you complete it, you unlock something. He kind of has a um, <clears throat> a subquest to eat a bunch of things. I mean, subterranean. So in the subterranean, I'm pretty sure your coma is is lowered with all creatures. Or sorry, not coma, reputation. Um. So it makes sense that the scavengers have lower reputation with me, but I thought giving him like three bombs and like. Crouching low to the ground and walking away would have been enough for him to... Oh, mushroom. Oh, we wanted to eat a mushroom. That name's Gourmand, but... Well, it's like Gourmand, like it was French, right? That would be like a... Non-English pronunciation of the word. We're fine on food. We want. We gotta eat a mole lizard. So I think we're gonna head down to filtration. Find one down there. There's a drop wig. There are two drop wigs. It was the hardest playthrough out of this room. Well, aside from blueberries, like yeah, I mean, I don't know if that one really counts. One dead drop wig. This is awkward though, because that drop wig's in a very tough position for me to hit, but I can't avoid it. Um, hmm. Damn. Oh, that centipede might aggro the drop wig. Yes, thank you. What? How is drop wig not dead? Maybe it hit the centipede on accident. Okay, drop wig is not on a food tracker. Where can you really find stowaways? I don't know what a stowaway is, Metanode. Fuck! That's not a hole I can go in! Okay. We got a snack. Dropwig 2.0? I don't know what that is. I have no idea what you're talking about. So I would stop talking about it.
I find it funny that Gorman killed Sophanthia by sitting on them. Uh, there were like two or three different deaths, which is variations of Gorman falling or sitting on you. Wish someone would sit on you, Gorman would. And I would too, but I mean. I Or do they stab you in the leg? Yeah, yeah. Uh, do we have to? Give me a spear, please. Give me a spear. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, which direction is it to filtration? I don't remember. If we go, uh, if we go left here, I'll know what a, what a centipede. I thought it might have been a yellow lizard, which you want to eat, but not. It's probably a centipede. Must be a scavenger. Oh no, just weird ambient lighting. My roast bird? Oh. I should have paid more attention. We're not, strictly speaking, we're not dead yet. Is possible something could save us. Something like oh. like it. Now we're dead now. Fuck you again. You're dead, you're not dead. Is he fucked yet? No, he's not fucked. Don't you fuck! I was unable to, to fuck that centipede. What are you doing? Get out of here! So many damn drop in subterranean. I think we gotta re-eat that mushroom. I don't think we ate that yet. Hello, Monster Kelp. Goodbye, Monster Kelp. Oh, is it not dead yet? Uh, I don't know. I'm surprised that Centipede survived all those explosions, not gonna lie. There we go, there were the mushrooms. You're gonna make mac and cheese? Alright, have fun. Go a man to kill other slug cats at the end. Um When I did his ending, I didn't see any opportunities to interact with slug cats, because as soon as you got to the point of seeing the other slug cats. Um, the game controlled what you were doing. You lost control of your character.
Yeah, I think Artificer... Artificer has fantastic combat, it's just the campaign is absolute shit. Because of having to deal with scavengers. Attack me. If I sit here for long enough, he may get impatient. Let us procure something from our stomach. A mushroom. Okay. Then doing a stream for expedition mode? I might. I don't know. I don't really have any plans. I don't really plan things that much. Snack on you a little bit. Thank you. I I know Annabella. You not seen Myers Vultures in game? I think they only exist for certain characters. Can't wait to consult the stream later to comprehend where the hell you're supposed to go with Big G. Well, with pretty much all the slug cats, I feel like it's a pretty safe bet that going to Five Pebbles or Moon will provide some information there. Myros vultures, from what I remember, can be found as Saint pretty much wherever. As Spearmaster in Spearmaster's exclusive area. And possibly somewhere as Rivulet, but I'm not sure. This Cyan Lizard is having a bit of trouble with this centipede. He's really trying his best. Dude. Eat your centipede. I the last time I let a cyan lizard live. I was trying to let him get a snack. Fuck that guy. Any tips for new players? Not really. Unless you have something more specific. Like a particular area of the game or enemy or something like that. Like just as far as generic tips, I don't Follow the yellow friend that tries to tell you to go places. Because the problem is giving detailed tips is going to spoil a lot of the game's mechanics and charms. And that's not something that I want to do. Because not knowing things as a new player is a big part of the game. 
And if you do know things like where to go, then it's going to drastically change your first experience with the game. <laughs> the game's built around you not having that information. And there are certain things, like mechanics and stuff, like if you're trying to figure out a way to deal with lizards, or things like that, that I can be like, oh, okay, these are some things about dealing with lizards, or scavengers, or stuff like that. But as far as just generic tips, I don't want to give you a bunch of information, because that's going to spoil a lot of the things in the game. So if you have a more specific question, then I might be able to help, but I don't want to just give generic tips. Man, fuck these two drop wigs up here. What an awful spot for drop wigs. Should have bought a second explosive. No, but backflipping also isn't, like, I would consider, like, a good tip for new players, just a, a, an interesting movement mechanic you can do. That most players probably won't be able to utilize very effectively. But it's also something that's really cool to discover on your own, to go, like, oh, fuck, I can backflip. That's really cool. Why would I throw the spear first? Plenty of opportunities to eat cyan lizards. But I did say I wouldn't let them live. I speared the dropwig instead of the lizard. Yeah, well, they have, like, uh, jetpacks or something, and spearing their tail disrupts that. Come on. Cyan lizards just colored balloons? What? Huh? So you would think that, Annabella, but supposedly it's the other way around. You can visit Five Pebbles as a saint. Five Pebbles is there and able to be encountered. I'm going to 
avoid the top path because I see the drop wig up there. I don't think they need more information than saying you can visit five pebbles. That was the question, that was the answer. You have to complete Rivulet to be able to play Saint, so... It's right here. Where am I? Hold on. I'm in... This room. Couple more rooms to the left. Okay. There are Myros vultures here. The Myros birds here. I have to go down a little bit, okay. Now, I probably have to eat a noodle fly. Depends how good you are at evasion, Met Note, I think. Saint's a very evasion based character. Okay. We're running a little low on time, so I want to double check real quick. It's next room to the left. Yeah. Probably need a gooey duck too, but we can find gooey ducks down here, no problem. Fuck me, I guess. Okay. Game really feels like being a dick, huh? Beast is no longer an option. With anything. Ever. It was an option, it's not anymore. I was trying to be nice, trying to, you know, let some centipedes live, let some scavengers live. Oh, maybe I won't fuck up scavengers, I don't really want to. I want to deal with the long-term implications of that, but. What the hell is going on there? What's that drop wig doing? 
doing a genocide run? I probably should. But, um... No, I, I likely won't actually fuck with scavengers that much. Where can you find... Man, I said to stop talking about them, because I don't know what that is. That's not something I've ever encountered in the game. I don't want spoilers about it. Take your time out. What is Gorman's goal? Yeah, and who are you asking? Because we already said we don't know. Met in this vanish. That is called being timed out. We're not listening to what I asked him to do. Come on, man. I don't know why you would push that conversation topic when it's obvious nobody here knows what you're talking about or where to find them because we already expressed that and I specifically asked you not to talk about it. I guess I'm not getting a snack. Oh, maybe I am getting a snack. Oh, maybe not. He's a bit high up. <clears throat> yeah, for the most part, we're just going to be vibing and exploring the world to finish our food tracker. We're not going to be particularly trying to move towards Gorman's quest line, because I know how to do it, and it's not. So caramel lizards are the one of the lizard types that we cannot one-shot. That should be enough, though. Oh. Hello. I was not expecting to see ye you so soon. Hello. A bit of a dicey situation there, huh? Hmm. Alright, so much for that mole lizard. Caramel lizards. You thought they were like jumping lizards? Caramel lizards? No. They're, um... They're like a toned down red lizard. Can Myra's birds be killed and can one eat them? If playing as one of the characters that is able to eat predators, yes, Myra's birds can be killed and eaten. They are a massive bitch to kill though. I do not recommend trying. Without explosive spears, um, Not something you want to fight. Especially because there are generally a lot of them. 
Um, they don't really get stunned by spears. You think those are only in Saint? The strawberry lizards are Saint only, I believe, yeah. Also called grapple lizards. Also in blueberry, I didn't see them anywhere in blueberry. Where were they in Octavia Queen? That's an eel lizard. Yes. Hey, cat gamer. Hope you're having a nice day as well. Hmm. Must have been some scavengers that died here, but I'm not too sure where. Well, we're here to eat a mole lizard. Town pours more content than the base game. Um, yeah. Uh, but it's, like, based on the base game. Um, like... Downpour could not have happened without the base game. Right. And DLCs that cost more than the base game are generally not great ideas. Um, also, was that $5 less before or after they increased the price of the game, Clover? Because they increased the price of the game by $5. When Downpour came out, they increased the price of the game, yeah. Are those red dots that appear every once in a while on the HUD? Um... Well, yeah, it's on sale, though, Clover. I'm saying, like, as a generic statement, they had increased the price of the game. Not that the price has increased, like, right this second. Surely that lizard's dead. Got it discounted? Yeah. I forget when I had gotten Rainworld. You hate more lizards? You just have to be very slow dealing with them. everywhere in this location. Yeah, it's a bit of a clusterfuck. Thankfully, we don't actually need to do very much infiltration. We just need to eat a mole lizard. Okay. 
I can find that fruit in garbage wastes. Yeah? I think. Or maybe it's in drainage? Maybe it's in drainage. It's like the semi-aquatic light fruit thing. Let's go to drainage. Because drainage connects to filtration. Go to drainage. Uh, so to get to drainage, we're gonna go down, and then to the right, and then up, and that's how we get to drainage. Gourmand in particular has a pretty easy time dealing with mole lizards because they're very easy to set up ambushes on by waiting and you one-shot them with spears. At least that's been my experience with them. Did I do the tree ending? I, I have done Gorman's tree ending, but that's not how you ask that question. <laughs> because that would spoil that ending if I hadn't done it. Fuck, we might be dead here. That was my bad. I didn't mean to fall there. Questions like that are how things like Blueberry Slugcat's ending being a visual novel will spoiled. Damn it, I did it again. Whatever. It is more, yes. Well, I didn't know when I was playing it until somebody spoiled that. And it would have been a much different experience me finishing the game. Um, and encountering that if that hadn't been spoiled. Let's go eat those gooey ducks, just to make sure we have enough food. This room has a monster kelp, though. Isn't it? In the bottom left? I don't know if it has it as this character. But... It's down here. I remember that being an unlock. A oh, monster cup stealing my fucking lantern. No, I guess there isn't a monster cup. I guess it's only a different character that has it. But yeah, if you don't know, a gooey duck is a type of clam. So that's probably what these get their names for. Having the hard shell on the outside, they have to pop to get to the inside. Do 
gooey ducks are the blue foods you have to crack open, yeah. That's their that's their name in game. Uh, please don't give spoilers about Ultra Kill, because I haven't played Ultra Kill yet. Why am I infiltration to kill a mole lizard? We killed a mole lizard. We are now leaving filtration. How do I... Okay, this way. Okay, let's eat those, rest here, then we go to, uh, filtration. Ultra Kill is the best FPS ever made. The only things I know about Ultra Kill are that it's an FPS and it has a, a, a sex mod, a butt plug mod. And that's all I want to know about Ultra Kill. Download the mod. If I downloaded the mod, you wouldn't see it. I don't know what see it means in this context. I'm not having a butt plug cam. Oh, we could have just gone over there. Well, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, I guess uh, maybe it's in drainage that the albino leviathan. Is. No, 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 it's over there. I guess we just didn't go to it. Okay. I see. It's in. No, it's in the drain. Alright, well, we're gonna make sure we eat whatever we come across. Oh, there's these things. I'm not sure what these are called. But these, uh. These things. Lily something? Lily Pucks, maybe? That name seems vaguely familiar. Eat for one paper, throw like a spear. I didn't know the throw like a spear thing. Wouldn't have guessed that one. I never come to drainage this way. And I have a lantern in my stomach, don't I? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sounds cool. Keep it in mind. Did I do spear damage? Meal. There you go. And I should take a bubble weed in my stomach in case I need it. We can ditch this lantern. I always craft another one if we need it. You don't get a faint orange glow if you have no on flies. Um, oh, the, the hunter one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Regular known flies just make you straight glow, though.
How do I? Oh, there's a hole here. Which side am I? Eat no one, fly and kill moon, trade for a lantern. Um, I don't really eat moons, no one flies. Uh, oh, we might drown here. I thought I could get up here. Fuck. I thought that was a, a spot I could sit in. I guess not. Should have taken out my second bubble weed. I usually just eat pebbles as no on flies. Why would I eat moons no on flies? I don't really visit moon that often before pebbles anyway. Interesting, with Lily Pucks you can dual wield though. Which Slugcat has the best ending? Yeah, it gotta be Blueberry Slugcat. Well, if you're playing as Hunter, like, when are you not going to visit Five Pebbles? He's two Echoes. And five extra cycles. And, uh... A Noah Fly. It's not Nightcap. The color palette is different than Nightcap, nor is he ever referred to as Nightcap. He is referred to by several names, none of them are Nightcap. What is Nightcat? Nightcat is the fourth color slug cat in arena mode. Um, yeah. Because there are only three slug cats in the base game. The fourth one, the four player, was Nightcat. Well, he lays it, Delta Fog. You don't lay your eggs? One slug cat in the overseer images. Uh, what? I think the slug cat that the overseer shows you is to try to trick you to going to uh, either moon or pebble. I forget. I think that's the point of that. I'm aware, Annabella. 
because people spoil things non-stop. Oh, I'm drowning here. Huh. Yeah, that would spam chat, accomplish nothing, and just bring up the topic more so that people would do it more. green lizard to one red lizard? The green lizards would fight each other. So... How was that noise? I was looking at the screen. noise is going on. Let's take a light source. Well, that's because green lizards are immune to red lizard bites. Right, Delta Fog. I don't know what was making that noise, but it seems to have stopped. That was odd. Hey, Michael Nader. Which HP do Reds have anyway? I think like seven or eight.
Well, getting two to three hits on a red lizard is gourmand would not be easy. Because uh, getting a hit in and getting away... I think Spearmaster does hunter damage. It felt around there. From what I remember. Damn. Leeches could be an issue. But I'm what? I thought I got my health, my breath back. I guess I hadn't waited long enough for something. I thought I had my breath back. Let's see if those spooky noises come back. Am I boosting? No. Why would I be boosting while swimming? No. like seven seconds. Stock on the air bubble things? I mean, I did. I, I can only do that so much. Welcome back, and not to the clean. I was trying to save my bubble weed for the one that was actually a long trip. I was told Gourmand had higher breath than Survivor, Delta Fog. We'll do it again and see what happens this time. We have to two bubble weed, I don't think even does anything. But that's not the definition of insanity. I hate that quote, Clover. Because that's not the definition of insanity. Or did they spoil you? I don't want to talk about the things that were 
spoiled because I don't want more information nor do I want to discuss them. The amount of information I already have is too much. Yeah, but, oh, there's bubble weed over there, yeah. Good, good catch. Between asylum and asylum, one sexier. Oh, that's why. It's going in the wrong direction. Oh, we probably need to eat a hazer. Is that thing that I'm missing? I that's the like lantern uh fruit thing, which I think is either in drainage or garbage wastes, one of the two. One of the water areas. Does drainage connect to garbage? It does. Um, we would want to go... I think where we're going now. Yeah, just keep heading right. Fuck. Not mean to fall there. Is there a thing for me to get on to climb out of here? Oh, there's a thing over here, okay. Yeah, drainage connects to garbage. Like I said, we are on the path to it now. Here, such an insane region. I haven't been to Pipeyard extensively, but I know it connects to like subterranean sky islands, industrial, and shoreline, right? Uh, 
Where the fuck am I? This isn't where I thought I was. Or maybe it is. about to rain. We have not hit a shelter in a minute. Oh, this is where shelter is. Where did we go? This is where we want to be, I think. Yes. 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 Down here to the right is how we get to garbage wastes. I think, um, maybe the uh, downpour added a couple new rooms on the path. Do I have a bubble weed inside me? Because this is a bit of a long swim. I do. Okay. Yeah, I recognize this room. And the swim. Bubble weed. I think anybody that's been in this area remembers this. Uh, the reason I have breath indicator off, I have not touched the remix settings. I don't really care. Uh, possibly more. I'm not sure. Let's take us to garbage. That was never that big of an issue. I think that tunnel without bubble weed can be quite annoying, especially if you're still getting used to the swimming mechanics. Because if the leeches grab onto you as you jump down in the water, they don't say the things I. It gives me. See the flashing egg thing? It's telling me. Oh, here's another food you haven't eaten yet that you need to eat. That might be glow weed. I know what the fruit is. It's the glowy egg thing. There's not any doubt about that. I'm just trying to find it. I figured. I mean, it glows in water, so it's probably in either drainage or garbage waste because it wasn't in shoreline.
PTD I have PTSD from this place crawling with Drockwigs as Saint. Music's time signature is all over the place. I don't really know what that means. The only place I remember seeing that glowy bubble fruit is inside of submerged superstructure as Rivulet. And at the end of Blueberry, a scavenger carrying it in subterranean. It's in Shoreline 2, I wasn't asking. Gonna be? I don't know. Not down there. Yeah, I was also thinking of checking the um, subterranean Leviathan room. Could potentially be there. But, you know, we'll, we'll vibe over here and see what we can find. Ah, uh, so we should eat a squid cater. But it's going to be a little tricky to use Squid Cater. It's a green snail? Okay. Green lizard. Oh, there's a shelter here. Let's rest at that. Because there's going to be food we encounter in these new areas that are going to count towards our food tracker that we just haven't encountered yet. So... I'm not looking over there sitting on a lizard. Stomach. That's oh, a bubble weed. That's a green scavenger. What the fuck? I don't think I've ever seen a green scavenger before. Motherfucker, look like a goblin. Kill the scavenger, because then I could eat the scavenger. I think we'll probably need to eat a scavenger. But now we have the issue of there being a red centipede here.
Red Centipede's totally gonna bait me, isn't it? Oh, interesting. Scavenger does not... It's not one of the food tracker foods. Oh. I would not have guessed that. You also need to eat red centipede? I wasn't asking. I don't know what's confusing about that. Stop. Wheatly from Portal? Yeah. This is probably survivor passage, yeah. See what kind of things we can cop up from this popcorn plant. I can tell you in what general area. Hey, dude! I'm trying to eat my food. Uh, shaded. Well, and that's... What do you mean by general area? How general are you talking? What have you found? You're in frozen ruins? Frosted Cathedral? I mean, you literally find the area five pebbles and... He is in five pebbles. Have you found five pebbles? And Saint Five Pebbles is called Silent Construct? No, you literally go through Silent Construct to an area called Five Pebbles, and that's where Five Pebbles is. Hey, yo, you want a lantern? Yeah, you, yeah, you do, right? You want a bat weed? Yeah, you do. You want another bat nip? Yeah, you do. I mean, the place is very large and kind of confusing. I don't know a concise answer of, like, go here. Go eat our greens. Gotta stay healthy. Keep coughing up stuff to give scavengers. Okay, Hazer. Maybe they'd like a Hazer. Would you like a... No? I 
I guess maybe they don't like hazers. I don't know. I think maybe the survival gameplay in the cutscene of a time gap. Quite possibly. He seems to be more of like a, a baby from that time, from what I remember. Okay, we could combine these to make an explosive, and that would base our scavenger reputation, surely. Okay, go we'll find a scavenger to give these two to. It's not uh, clear and not Daily Queen. Oh. This could be a good source of scavenger reputation. Probably gonna blow that up. That's a vulture too. I'd rather not fuck with that. Lizard killed a hundred slug cats and locked the gold skin. Okay, let's keep trying to find. Something to give these scavs to raise our reputation. Okay, more bubble weed. Don't really need that. Didn't seem like the scavs liked it much either. I wonder if we can. Hey, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Here, have a lantern. I wonder if I could combine. Interesting. They don't seem to like hazers very much. Oh, mushrooms. They probably like that. Yeah, you do. Goddamn drug addicts. What is this? Oh, that's a... Snail. Okay, hopefully that will have given us a good amount of scavenger reputation to the point that they don't just try to kill us on sight. Horrible streamer becomes ruthless drug dealer selling to innocent creatures to barely survive. Hey, they're the ones buying. Hey, whoa, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I guess we're not on friendly terms yet. We got a bit more work to put in. Want some more batnip? Or a, a snail? Snail? Do you like snail? No, I guess they don't like snails. Oh, hello. I wonder if 
I'm able to. I don't have any spears, is the issue. I wonder if I could trade for a spear. You guys are drug addicts. You guys like mushrooms? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Alright, let's put this pearl in their stomach. Was that an eel lizard? I thought I saw a flash of like a, a bluish color over there. Alright. I'm hoping our scav up will be decent now. We didn't give them any super high value items, but... Is that vulture coming back? It is. This is a good way to get back. Fighting off vultures with him. It seemed. No, it's it's fine. It's fine. Let me crouch to the ground. I'm crouching. Okay. I forget. Can we sleep with them to raise karma? Maybe we can sleep with them. Oh, they didn't want to sleep with me. Let's keep exploring garbage wastes a bit. Maybe we head back to outskirts to try to uh, go to pebbles. Seems like a good plan. Hello. Hello. You're running, right? In fear? Please tell me you're running in fear and not attacking me? Awkward centipede spot. Not gonna lie. Maybe I can attract it over here with this. Did he see me? Did he see me? Come on. There we go. Like the snack on the white lizard. See what we can get to. I suppose I'll probably um, 
Maybe visit Pebble, start hitting some Echoes. Maybe pass it back to Shoreline to hit Moon or something. Hmm. I think I remember maybe seeing those things in Moon's place underwater. A vulture? We got a squiddy boy. I'm not seeing where the danger is. Why wow, we've got the danger music. Here you go, squiddy boy. Interesting, squid cater. Yeah, I would not want to try to get to submerged superstructure. But I think I remember seeing them in Moon's, like, regular place, potentially. I don't remember exactly, but... Maybe the white one was on our hit list. I thought I remembered a Squid Cater being there. You're very stupid. What? Did you figure out where to go? You did find it? Nice. What was the issue? Let's make a bomb. Can we make it? Nah, I suppose not. Here's the bong pouts. Mm. I can understand that. We could try to kill a vulture. I'm not against it. I would likely want some more... Uh... I wonder if I can combine these. Interesting. Okay, combining a bubble fruit and an explosive makes a pearl. Oh, sorry, no, yeah, yeah, bubble fruit, not bubble weed. Yeah. Infinite pearl glitch is not a glitch. We could also. Make a singularity bomb using coma flowers. But I think. Lots of crafting recipes include pearls. Makes sense. Yeah, we could make the non egg version of egg. I know, Clover. Well, I want to get rid of these pearls now, because I got so many of them. And we can produce more. We know how to now. In fact, we can make another one, like, right now. We can make several of them. if I can combine a pearl with this. I can't. Maybe I can combine a pearl with a drop one? Drop one? Or pop one? No, it doesn't look like it.
Maybe I could combine this with a lantern to make the glowy fruit. Okay, put this here. Grab one of these. Mass producing miniature black holes. Okay, make a bomb. Combine these. Okay, now we just gotta find some scavengers. Which, I mean, we are in garbage waste, shouldn't be too difficult. Well, we're about to leave garbage waste, okay. But, industrial, uh, should have scavs. We can find some. We'll be fine. Let's, uh, enter here so we can potentially pass it back if we want to. All right, let's go on a trip to Five Pebbles. I think that's our next stop. And we can probably get the Nomad Passage while we do that. Because, uh, Industrial Chimney Wall Pebbles is four. We trapped the miniature black holes when you put on a red lizard. I, uh, maybe, I don't know. Thought about it that much. Let's snack a little bit. But it seems like kind of a waste to use on a red lizard. Let's snack on anything we find and just make our way through things. Use it on moon. Yeah, let's go for Nomad. So we want to go chimney canopy. Aries. Again, please, English, Aries. I don't want to have to keep warning you. Get chimney canopy, we go this way. Hmm. This is a dicey situation. I don't know if I want to come out here. 
Oh, it's fine. Hope we find some scavengers soon. Ooh, blue lizard. I don't want to snack on a little blue lizard. Hello, Mr. Blue Lizard. You want to be a snack? Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. Come on. Come on. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I understand not understanding English, but I the channel rules exist for a reason, and those rules are English only. And if you keep not following them, I'm not going to continue warning you. I'm going to just punish you for not following the rules. You don't have to interact with chat, but please don't if you're not speaking English. That's a red lizard. You know, this is actually one of the few situations where we might actually be able to kill. I suggest to stream in Russian. Maybe plausible to kill a red lizard here. There's a dead vulture over there. Oh, especially if we get some support from a green boy. Damn, did red lizard retreat to its den? I think it did. like snacking on him, but find a Russian slug cat. Get rid of these spears. I should also stream in Polish and other random languages. Can I stream in Cantonese? No. I can stream in English. He's just changing languages every week. There you go. We should have very good scab rep now. We could potentially get higher scab rep too, but. Go to chimney canopy. Speak Welsh? No. I could just say I was speaking Welsh and none of you guys would know the difference. Is that a real vulture or is that a king vulture? Oh, that's a king vulture. Okay, Ares, I'm not going to warn you again. English. Come 
Come on, King Vulture. Hey, Vulture, you wanna save me? You wanna save me, Mr. Vulture Boy? Yeah, you do. No? We're not dead. You enjoy ship posting? You will get banned. End of story. Stop speaking in non English languages. That's the rule. We're done. Oh, wait, no, we're not. Save us, Cyan Lizard, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Cyan Lizard. It's a dicey situation, though. We don't have any weapons. We gotta get. We don't have much time either. Uh, let's go over here. Shelter the other way. We don't want to go to that one. That's not where we want to go. Why would we go there? don't want to go there. End of, like, going there defeats the purpose of what we're doing. It doesn't matter if we run out of time, it's better to come back here than to go to that shelter, because we're trying to get the Nomad Passage, and going to that shelter is going to not have us get the Nomad Passage. It's also going to take us further from where we want to go. I don't want to go to that shelter. It's not like it's difficult to get back. Damn, he hit me with that? Spears, though. This room feels familiar? No, it's the first time I've been here. You must just be getting it mixed up with another one. in his wing, huh? Vulture's super wounded, but it's not quite dead. Might be dead now. Uh, still not quite.
That was a nice snack. Oh, you're a scavenger. No mask? I don't really care that much. to damage Myos Vulture enough to make it fly off. Killing Myos Vulture is really difficult. This isn't where I want to go. If you can find a way to trap it, that's probably your best best bet. Okay, we didn't need to eat a blue lizard. It wasn't on our food tracker. I did still kind of want to try killing that red lizard, though. Opportunity presents itself again. Hmm. Damn lack of weapons. Spear Master had Gourmand Spear Throws would be a killing machine. If, like, anything had Gourmand Spear Throws would be a killing machine. Even just, like, Hunter. I mean... Being able to repeatedly throw spears that are this damaging... Interesting. Is this lizard alive? The red lizard saw me. I thought he wouldn't turn around that fast. He stole five pebbles, his music pulled out of spite? Out of spite? Why? What's wrong with you? You're just a horrible person. You guys want to take these? Please? Even 
looking for him for three hours now? But you're just a bad person then. Like... That's... You... That's not his fault, that's your fault. Moon had nothing? Moon had no on flies. This is annoying, because now we can't get the Nomad Passage. And that annoys me. Because I wanted to get that, though. I just shouldn't have tried to kill that Red Lizard. Can I make you feel bad about the lad? I mean, you... You did something purely out of spite to... Uh, because of things you were feeling yourself. Just to remove any source of happiness from his life. In a way that doesn't benefit you whatsoever. Alright. You are a bad person. It's stuck in traffic visiting someone, you don't get upset about the traffic and steal their phone. Actually, we could... I had an idea. We could still get uh, Nomad if... Oh, Gorman has survivor shelters. Interesting. We come here and hit a shelter in outskirts. No, my passage. Is that what I said? I forgot. Uh, I think it's more akin to, like, in uh, being an organ donor than giving a battery, seeing as they're robotic. down there. Do you have food? Oh, we don't have enough food. A color slug cat would I like to see next? I don't know that I have uh, much of a preference there. I'm not sure that color is particularly what I'm looking for in a slug cat, you know?
Okay, and now we can go to, to chimney. Hopefully find some things to eat on the way. Let's see a shark tails. Wow, that missed? God damn. I mean, I know there's a way past it here, but snack on this pink lizard a little bit. Come on. That's a good snack. Hey, is this fucker stealing my pearls? I don't know, be. No, okay. Well, he can steal his life. But you get for even go walking near my pearls. Those don't belong to you. Oh, he fled. Whatever. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll take the trip to Pebbles. Um, get the Malka communication. Then maybe we go hit up Moon. Because um, I think we'll probably pass, like, jellyfish. A big jellyfish, which might be one of the things we have to eat. I don't know. Um, and then... We might be able to find the, the uh, glowy fruit thing there. Easy enough to get through outskirts as long as we don't try to kill the red lizard. That was a mistake. And hopefully I can find some uh, scavengers to pawn these pearls off to, because I don't really feel like carrying them around. That didn't hit. Oh, I think I landed on him and killed him. Oh, maybe not. Come on. Just messing up these spear throws left and right. All right, get sat on. Remember, your body is the most dangerous weapon you have. There's something above me. Maybe not. Thought I heard something. Must have been that cyan lizard fleeing over there. Oh, we picked it up. Okay. 
This might attract that cyan lizard's attention, but that's fine. We don't gotta worry too much about a little cyan lizard. Oh, maybe we do. He's looking a little excited. Like this is safe. We got the red and the green lizard in here, but that's fine. We can make it past a little red and green lizard. Little red and green lizard never hurt anybody. Except for me a couple cycles ago. Hopefully the two of them fight each other. It's very easy to avoid that red lizard in that room. You just gotta try to bait him up to that thing, and then as soon as that comes, haul ass in the other direction. Alright, well we're most of the way to Chimney Canopy. Green lizard coming up, huh? I guess he went in that direction. Okay, he didn't seem too interested. That vulture seemed a little, a little hungry. I don't want it to eat us, but that's fine. I mean, I would want to eat us. Can't blame him for that. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll get a little pink pink lizard snack. Well, maybe not. Maybe pink lizard's gonna get a little lost snack. I should. Huh. I would like to have a weapon. As is, I can't really do much. But if I could go grab that spear over there... Or just wait for this vulture to fuck off. Damn. I feel lied to. I was told sliding his gourmand was fast enough to do bonk damage. It did not do bonk damage. probably dead. Hey, this is the gore man gets a snack playthrough. That lizard did hear us. 
Oh, but it wants a drop quick snack. I can't blame him. I I I I, I like that snack a lot. That was a good snack. Oh wait, we could just jump up here. What are we doing? I should really just stop carrying these pearls around. They're causing a lot more trouble than anything else because I can't hold weapons, but I would really like to give them to some scavengers. Lizard, though. Uh oh. Man, better hurry up. There we go. Cyan boy. Doesn't look like he saw us. But we may want to deal with him. And get him to see us here. Okay. Oh, little blue boy. Is he going to come back? situation we have here. Okay, the red lizard's fighting the blue lizard. Poor well, man can eat lizards. I know the one. But we're fine on hunger. We don't need to eat lizards. Uh, okay, we got a white lizard. Huh. This is... of an awkward situation here. Come on. Please let me stop being fatigued. Please. We're too tired. We couldn't get in the hole. God, that's so annoying.
Well, we may be fine. We may be able to get rescued by something up here. Because we're not dead dead. Like a vulture, maybe? Vulture, you want to... Yeah, there we go. Thank you, vulture. I appreciate it. I was very polite of you. I was very polite of him. Hey, Jokey. Yeah, we don't really want to be full on food because in case we encounter something we want to eat for a food tracker. We want to make sure we have one or two food slots open. Plus, it's no struggle to get food to Squamant. Okay. Um, chimney canopy. I suppose we probably... Can't you just spit something random out? Yeah, but that's not easy eat sand, because that takes forever. Because you have to spit... You have to get things out of your hands, and you have to spit out whatever's in your stomach. And it adds, like, 20 or 30 seconds on to trying to eat something. And that's really inconvenient. Hey, Underfind. But all we have to do is just get food closer to our, our shelter. Like, we don't have to really worry that much. Fatty? Gourmand is very... He's a, he's a large boy. Okay, well, let's, uh... I want to hit the... Uh, anyone got any tips for getting past a drop rig that's camping a ledge you need to climb up? Um... What character are you playing as, and what resources do you have available to you? You're playing as Gourmand. Okay, can you craft an explosive? Explosives can be an effective way of, um, getting past drop rigs. Uh, okay, um, can you go around the drop rig? I is there another room you could take that would lead you on the path you need to go down? You try baiting something else to go underneath it, like a lizard. Um, or just go underneath the drop wig and try to dodge its throw. And, uh, move out of the way in time and throw a spear at it. If you move fast, you can potentially... Pull that evasion off. Um. Yeah, at a certain point, there's only so much you can do for drop wigs. Come on! This would sliding out of its hole. We gotta just go. The game won't let us just go. Yeah, if it's near a shelter, you could wait for rain. Leave us alone on the way up here, but let's get this karma flower. 
Maybe they will leave us alone. They get distracted with each other. We're gonna try to hit the, um... Uh, we got a blue lizard. We can deal with a blue lizard. Apparently not. Um, where did you come from? Sir? Where did... food have we collected? You know, some. Yeah, I would rather just reset there. We're just kind of vibing around the world. I'm not in any rush to try to speed run getting food. We're just wandering around, eating what comes up. Will I create a black matter bomb? I mean... Maybe. It doesn't really have that much appeal because we've just spent like 16 hours playing the game with those non-stop. I, I don't... I don't really want one that much. It's not really any reason to make one. Because like, as a weapon, I can... Aside from a very small number of, of enemies, I can just kill most of them. Probably dead again. That's annoying. Multiple enemies as Gourmand is annoying to deal with because it's very difficult to get. There's a plausibility it might be funny. I don't even think it would. I mean, we've done the funny things to do with gravity bombs. We played with them nonstop for like 16 hours when we beat the game as Blueberry Slug Cat. I don't... Is it weird that you need a combo craft combo to flower to craft one? Don't overthink the crafting system in this game. Things don't make that much sense. Like, it's not like crafting a singularity bomb is going to let us use an item that, like, we don't get to use. We've been using it non-stop. happens. Why didn't it flip? I'm cheating lizards. Why is it not flipping? What is going on? Oh, someone trading Nomad, I guess. We'll just have to get the Echo here and then work on that some other time. It's much easier once you get Echoes. It's a lot more forgiving. I'd love to get if we get up there and we could go to. Sky Islands. What an unfortunate timing of everything. Like, goddamn. Blue lizard just drops on you from above. I got some scavengers. Yeah, drop wig lizard. Take the pearl, please. I'm trying to give you this pearl. Please, take the pearl. I'm trying to give you this pearl. Please. Please accept my pearl. 
Please. Finally, Jesus. Jump on top of the lizard. If you're talking about the blue lizard at the bottom here, I tried that. I didn't have enough distance. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't do that. That's literally what we did. We tried jumping on top of him, and then he immediately snapped back to try to bite us. All my spirit. Where am I from? The US. Yeah, their licky attacks can disarm you. down there. Okay. I don't have to worry about staying alive now because we're just at a bad karma level, so we can just kill whatever we want, and it doesn't really matter. We can be as violent as we feel like. I am going to be as violent as I feel like. These lizards deserve death. All of them. Every single one. Especially you. I'm not even in the mood to do this for for hunger, for food. This is this is spite. This is revenge. Every single lizard I see is dying. back here and sit on you. You're not making it out of here alive. Fuck, I missed. He's not making it out of here alive. We just gotta recover our energy. Also, we could probably just, like... How did that... Not... Do I have to land on his face? Do I have to sit on his face? 
Missed the hitbox. Face or directly on their body. Hmm. Do I have to sit on his face? I don't mind sitting on his face. I don't have anything against that. I just need to know if I have to. Sit on your face, please. I, uh, I don't know if you're over eighteen, so I, I I'm not going to, to answer that question. Or to, to to respond to that. Okay, like we can sit on his face. No, we can't. Fuck. Come on. Just get his attention. There we go. Commence first throw is three damage. It is three times damage and not 2.5x damage. I've heard conflicting information, which is why I'm unsure of where this. Exhausted is one half. I want to kill this lizard, but I don't have anything to throw to stun it. Something down here, though. Go ahead and use that. I mean, half spear damage isn't even that bad. Can I just slide into his face? You know, I tried that a couple times before I do stuff, because I heard sliding into people's faces did jump damage, and it didn't do anything. Then the lizard just bit us, and we died. Please, I want to go in your hole. I don't know how much damage the, uh... Slammed us. Pretty lizard for you over here. Oh, no, 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 no. I see you. I see you. Okay. I think I know what I'll do here. I will, uh, go ahead and hit this to have the echo light flash, then go rest at that shelter over there, and then, uh, hit this echo, then head up to the wall. I'm heavy boy. The cat boy. Gotta hurry about this though. Because we don't have too much longer till the rain starts.
I don't know if we'll have the time to go all the way back to the other shelter, so we're going to take this route. Do I know about the hunt for long legs? Yeah. Yeah, train lizards, the purple ones are only um only in the blueberry slug cats world. Oh, he's uh cl climbing a vine. Or wrestling a pole mimic, one of the two. Let's look at that kill count. Alright, I'm gonna pass it to get our karma back just to hit the echo, because I don't wanna. I wanted to get Nomad, but then we died too much, and whatever. We got so many passages. I don't feel like farming karma. We hit Echo, we go Wall, uh... Any gameplay changes that depend on Coma other than the endings and the Coma gates? The ability to encounter Echoes? Lies on karma. Okay, well, hold on. I wouldn't say entirely good. Because Myra's Vultures exist. <laughs> Myra's Vultures are the only thing I don't like about this DLC. We don't talk about Sophantheal? What's wrong with Sophantheal, Delta Fog? My response is a part of more slug cats. Okay, and I understand that being a good mod, but I'm not going to call it an entirely good mod because Myos vultures are in it. <laughs> and God, I fucking hate Myos vultures. Maybe we need to boost jump that. They're not a problem once you figure them out. It, the slug cat campaign you're playing on probably influences that. I think they're absolutely a problem with, like, certain slug cats. I mean, there are situations where you could be walking in an area, and I don't think there's a way to avoid a guaranteed death from a Myros Vulture if it decides to come from above. There were several times that happened when you were playing as... Uh, the Blueberry Slug Cat. In most cases, there's a long pipe. Not when they're just out in the open world everywhere. In the couple areas that, like, they're designed to be in, like in Moon's area and whatnot. Yoko Man, Spear, Artificer. Those aren't the slug cats they were a problem on. You remember the black and red slug cat from the sofa? Yeah. 
I could understand hating my West Vulture solely because of um the Sophantheo one, like what Azoa had to do. I feel bad for Azoa, man. Um, that one room with the reindeer. Uh, that they had been stuck on for like six hours because those Myros Vultures. I'll rip that pole, I guess. Let's stop talking about slug pups outside of the ones related to the blueberry campaign. Did that not deal damage? And it didn't knock off its mask either? God damn. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't fall off there. That's weird. Okay, well, let's go get fat shamed. Uh, and then, I don't know, vibe around. See what we can find to eat. Let's go get a um If you don't go through the exit pipe at five pebbles, it's a puppet chamber and get some unique dialogue. We'll be in there for a minute. You get fat shamed. He fat shames you to begin with. Uh, this is where the uh, grapple worms down here, right? He put. Why would you say that, Delta? Like, wait. That we'll go. Why? Why? Just get get out. Stop. Like, we're literally going there to discover this right now. Okay. Got a grappling room. And I think that's all we have to... worry about in this area. Let's go to Pebbles. We should have back up a kill on a yellow lizard. I think yellow is all we need for Dragon Slayer. 
It's a feeling I wouldn't go to Pebbles right now if not for plot progression. Um. Probably not, no. Uh, but I also don't remember if I need to eat a no on fly, and Pebbles is where I would go to get a no on fly. More than likely. And echoes are nice for, um, being able to get through karma gates and whatnot. But yeah, it would not be high on my list of things. Imagine you come across Hunter Long Legs because you forgot that they got permadeath. I have not permadeathed as Hunter, to my knowledge, on this save file. Was that a change, DJ? Because, uh, in... Uh, the original game, that wasn't the case. Okay. You had a red centipede kill? Nice. Grapple Lizard and Caramel do as well. Okay. Caramel Lizard is probably on our um, thing then, because we killed a Caramel Lizard. That makes Dragon Slayer significantly easier to, to obtain. Still no Salamanders. Mm. Well, they're not lizards. They're amphibians. Lizard? Blue Lizard. Drop wig. Drop wig. Sure hope this blue lizard doesn't... Okay. Oh. Oh, you got a little snack. Oh, you didn't get a little snack. Oh, fuck. Damn, rip that blue lizard snack. We need a snack. Fuck. Jolly co-op on Gourmet's campaign is amazing. I have not done co-op in any of the campaigns, so I don't... Can't really comment on that too much. Looks like we got a vulture coming, maybe. No? I really want that lizard snack. Where'd my snack go? It has both hunter spawns and no time limit. It's a very relaxed campaign compared to the other ones. Oh, we got a yellow lizard. Hello, Mr. Lizard. You look wounded. Perhaps not, but you look mildly wounded, possibly. God, we were... I tried to just step on him. I mean, I have to go kill a grappling worm again. God damn it. All because that spear decided to embed itself directly above the orange lizard. Oh, that slide. Okay. I had tried that on lizards a couple times, but it didn't seem to work. That would probably make Spears too strong as Gorman DJ. Because then you would just... I feel like that would make it too strong.
It would be in line with, like, Outerfisser essentially turning food into weapons, but... You can make the exhaustion limit a tiny, li tiny bit bigger. So, like, just by moving around, you don't get exhausted as much. It is really annoying. Just, like, whiffing one spear throw and then basically just being dead. The leg is a very scary... The leg looks... I suppose five pebbles look scarier than it is. The leg kind of sucks, though. at the shelter at Pebbles and then mm. I think after that maybe we try to go to Moon and try to find where those egg light plants are because they're in a water area definitely I didn't see them in garbage waste I didn't see them in drainage I didn't see him in Shoreline either, but I didn't explore Shoreline super heavily. I may need to look deeper underwater in Shoreline. Yeah, egg light plants. Oh, hello, Blue Lizard. Goodbye, Blue Lizard. You got a drop break? Not seeing a drop break. Is it being carried off by a vulture? I don't know. Yeah, little egg like plants that uh grow underwater and do like half a food pip. Only place I remember seeing them is uh submerged superstructure as rivulet, but I'm sure they're elsewhere. Potentially the subterranean Leviathan Lake, that area. Um, we'll see. You know, yellow lizards being pack lizards could potentially be an issue, because it's tough to deal with multiple lizards. That lizard can't be dead. That's alive. Leviathans only seek out a certain amount of food each cycle, Annabella. Once their food requirement has been met, um... They will no longer... Try to eat. Got a little lizard snack. Yeah, I think once they've satisfied their food requirement, they just kind of swim around. Is 
is Chonko 100% playthrough, real, no fake. Um, this is not going to be like 100% in terms of like getting all the lore things and whatnot, but I'm gonna do the food tracker. The difference between Gourmand and Leviathan. Uh, Leviathan's calm down after you. God! Please! Please! Okay, we've, we've got no energy back. Come on. He's gonna make it off this edge. Turn the corner. Turn the... There we go. Jesus, fuck. Where did he go? There he is. Right, I might be able to sneak up on him here. Nah, he heard us. Okay. Okay. And now... We have this wall. I mean, there's just not always stuff to talk about, Annabella. Oh. Poor white lizard, he deserved it. He committed the crime of trying to eat me. Where? There it is. Okay. We don't have a spear, but we could probably just knock him off, yeah. There's a second white lizard who we could also probably just knock off. I should not have approached this in this way. No, nah, okay, we got him. The white lizard tried to bite a bat fly. He was hungry! Fat fuck. What? I don't think that's a, a thing I need to embed a spear in. Do I? I didn't think that was a spear throw I needed to... They don't seem bat flies eat anything. Bat nip. Oh, uh, rain's starting to come. I wanted to make it all the way to pebbles, but I just have to delay that one. Oh, that is a pole plant. We may be dead here. We are exhausted. I didn't think. Whatever. I know there are two. I know there are two. The two wasn't the issue. Please. It's fine. The problem was, uh, I don't know if these are jumps I can easily make without spears. I guess I probably could have bounced off the wall on that one. I thought it might have been a pole plant. Um, but it's fine. It's not like dying matters. It, like, our coma doesn't matter here. We just lose a little bit of time. It's fine. I 
I thought... So Vayne doesn't hit the wall? I thought it just didn't hit inside of Pebbles' superstructure. I thought once you left the coma gate, it still rained out there. It doesn't rain out here? That in mind. I thought it was after you left Pebbles' comic again. You can see above the clouds. Okay. I had to unlock the joke rifle in sandbox. What do you have to do? Is it like a, a code? Is it an unlock in one of the characters? You have to do something in the files? You have to beat all of Artificer's challenges. Interesting. Can you guys not talk about things I haven't done in the game? I have not done challenges. Don't talk about them. Lots of people haven't. We're going to make sure we eat another orange lizard. Need a little snack. We get a nice drop wig snack too. I don't mind that. I'm also probably gonna ditch this grappling worm because uh I'm kinda sick of carrying it around. Not gonna lie. Like past this area, it's when the rain stops falling.
Basically, the orange lizard's area. Okay. Hello, Mr. Lizard. Hello. Oh, you're, you're a Captain Lizard. The pole plant can only love wizards. He plays as a wizard in every game that allows you to be a wizard. Okay, we will go kill that pole plant. Oh, you're a blue lizard. What are you doing here? Dying, that's what you're doing here. Aldrich Blast. Uh, that's like a 5e thing, right? I don't really play 5e that much. I don't really like 5e that much. Is that white lizard still here? I don't see it anywhere. We got white lizards here. Hey, you stole my fucking. God damn it. Fuck. I tried to down spear. I didn't want to. As long as I can take them one at a time, it's not bad. Like, here, we can probably line up a shot without him even noticing. Can we jump that high? Dude! Fuck you! Stop stealing my shit! It doesn't belong to you! Can't have shit around these lizards. Where's the third one? Where'd he go? I don't see him anywhere. Probably in this room up here. That's a lot of bat flies. Pick up an extra spear. To go kill these pole plants with. Are bat flies mammals? This is a good question. One that I'm not sure the game answers. Uh, the best indication you'd have of that would be giving it to Moon and seeing what she says. 
Bats or mammals, flies or not. That would be... Closer to a bat than a fly. It could be... I mean, while this is true, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are more bat than fly. The game's logic with creatures is all over the place. Like, slug cats visually probably look more like cats than slugs, but, like, I think most of the information we have about them indicates them to have more slug-like features. Like the fact that they don't have fur aside from Saint and uh, a lot of... So we got the Vumblies, but the Vumblies isn't going to rain. We can just keep going. We can just go here. We don't have to care. Okay. I know what the vein is. I know it's like the steam that's let off from the iterator superstructures. But like it's being let off right there. Which is where I am. It's not steam. Oh. There's steam, but it's not all steam. What is it? Yeah, but them using water is, like, using it as steam. Right? Like, that's how steam engines work. It's still a liquid. Can I make this fucking jump? Jesus Christ. There we go. But, like, if it gets overcast because of... It's more like blood. Fair enough. So, I just want to double check. Yeah. Do we have a second spear? We don't have a second spear. Oh, this one right here. Okay. Combination of fuel and coolant. Fair enough. Oh, look, it's the moon. We're looking to the moon. There's a green star. There are several green stars. There's this one that's more prominently visible than the others. It looks like all the stars are green. Thoughts on Gorman so far? He's a chonky boy.
How big of a plane do I think if I jumped? Uh, if I jumped off five pebbles all the way down? Uh... Probably enough to send five pebbles of superstructure crashing into the ground. It would probably destroy all of his gravity, uh, stabilize, and he just fall. We would create a, a singularity enough to just drag everything down into it. Drink some Pepsi. Gluttonous beast, what brings you to my chamber? You were like no other messenger before you. Perhaps I have underestimated the ability for your kind to communicate my existence. I may have been too rash in bestowing the mark of communication upon you. With the recent traffic through my structure, however, I would hesitate to believe that you will be my last encounter with your kind. You'd further discourage further visitations in the future. I have long since placed the outer perimeter of my facility grounds into lockdown, and yet more and more creatures like you continue to manage to find a way inside. I would prefer to discourage further visitations in the future. I have long since placed the outer perimeter of my facility ground. Oh, come on. You have the same problem as everyone else from the microbes in the processing shroud to me, who is, if you, who is, if you excuse me, godlike in comparison. We all want a way out. However, your particular... rotundness might well imply how little you seem to care. A simple animal ignorantly accepting its existence. I do not believe my intended purpose will be much help to you. I can, however, encourage you and your kind to leave my facility grounds. Unfortunately, the same locks that were supposed to prevent creatures from getting in will now prevent you from getting out. Perhaps this strategy was ill-conceived after all. Allow me to just... Hang on, is that? Go west through the underground tunnels to the outskirts of my territory. You will find the gate to the world of it now unlocked. World outside of it now unlocked. In return, I ask you to encourage your community through whatever method of communication you choose to employ to go west. Off into the waste below, far away from me and my work. Speaking of, on your way out, please use the access shaft. In other words, get the fuck out, you fat fuck. Yeah, we're a little hungry though. We wanna we want a little snack. Oh yo, a spore puff. I actually kinda want that. So if we chill with pebbles for a while, he'll, uh... Oh.
That's all you have to go now. He won't kill me, right? You need to partially enter, but don't go all the way through. Leave? Let's just go. Okay, well, we obtained a no on fly. I think we probably head back to shoreline now and try to um, find that egg thing. I'm not too sure Endo Hippo, nor do I want to risk finding out, because we hadn't hit a shelter in quite some time there. Okay, let's go hit this echo, and then, um... Yeah, then we'll head back down to Garbage Wastes, and then back to, um, Shoreline. See what's up over there. See if we can find that egg thing. Which I hope we can, because that's the only food that I'm not too sure about. It also might be on the way to Outer Expanse. In the pier over there. It's definitely in a water area, and I know scavengers can sometimes hold them in the subterranean as well. The campaigns are kind of blending together, though. I was pretty sure Saint had them in Moon. Because Saint can't eat jellyfish. And I think those were the food option that Saint had over there, maybe. Oh, that exhausts you quickly. It makes sense why. Wait for the dialogue to start. We can feel your presence. Is that a fat joke? Are you saying I have such a strong gravitational pull because of my weight that you can feel it? Dude, fuck these guys. Man, Gorman gets a hell of a boost off of throwing spears. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, I think we go back to Shoreline. So, Red Centipede, we could probably kill in garbage with the Spore Puff we have as well. And we can actually talk to Moon now. Not that she's going to say very much of interest, but... Reached anything interesting with the rotund creature so far? Um, I learned I have to sit on people's faces. At least the lizards. To consistently get their hitboxes. Awesome. What, sitting on people's faces? That's a reasonable response. So wait to check if I've gotten all the food items needed. I assume it will be fairly obvious when I get all of the food items that I need. The game also tells me the next food item to get, or a remaining food item. So I assume when it stops doing that, if nothing else, that's going to indicate when we've uh, done everything. It does, Michael, yes. However, I would prefer not to discuss that uh, for the sake of spoilers. A staggeringly simple concept that people seem to struggle with. Yo, know, fuck that lizard. I remember what he did. I remember what he did. Ah, fuck. Man, this is the part I hate about the wall. Is accidentally uh, messing up one jump and then just falling. And especially this gourmet man, because it takes so fucking long to walk back there. From this shelter, specifically. Have I tried rolling? I don't really know how to roll for long periods, DJ. How do you roll?
Do a backflip opposite the direction you want to go, then hold the direction you want to go and hold down. Okay. That helps. Let's speed things up a lot. There's a closer shelter. Nomad. Nomad. Yeah, he rolling. He's got great aerodynamics. Command becomes Terraria Boulder. Rain World crossover Slug Cat Boulder. Slolder. Yeah, I knew how to start rolls. I didn't know how to keep them going. Was the issue. It's rolling into enemies home them. Uh, it homes... Blueberry Slug Cat. In the dating sim. In order to keep rolls going normally, it requires perfectly timed jumps. Hmm. I'm trying to make him fall. Command is just that good. He is just that rotund. So we fucked up last time. So let's not. There we go. I know you can do it short term. I didn't realize how to keep it going. I'm also not sure if I connected exactly the inputs. There are a lot of movement mechanics that, like, I half know how to do. Uh, anything higher than a normal jump. Oh, come on. We're gonna die to this drop wig. Go to hell. Leave me alone. Probably hit that shelter off to the right in the, the triple room. I should have gone up top, whatever. 
Fuck me, I guess. Could have thrown the spear too for a longer boost jump, but I thought that would be enough. I guess Gorman's slowness fucks that up. Gotta keep that in mind. Okay, uh, I'm at the point where I kind of want to make sure that I finish the food tracker by the end of the day today. And I probably have about two and a half hours left. So let me ask this. If I go to Shoreline, will I be able to reasonably find the light egg fruit? Simple yes or no. Maybe that is there a particular area where I would go to to obtain this? So I would like to finish it by the end of the day, but I will not have the time to do that if I have to spend a lot of time. Maybe wastes? I don't want a maybe answer. I want an actual answer. If waste is an option, I can search around in wastes. But I want to know that it's available there. Dude, this fucking lizard. I swear to God. I don't see the white lizards in this room. Go check? Okay.
seemed like we had to take the top route. Let me, uh... Might as well speed things up a bit. And I'm pretty sure I could just make this with a long jump, but just to be safe, we will boost jump it. Realistically, we could probably kill this King Vulture just by camping it in a tun tunnel here, but I don't really feel like taking that risk. Did we ever hit this Echo? I don't think we did. We had the Flash come, but we didn't actually hit it. So we should be sure to do that. Just for the extra karma, since we're in the area. Not from where I am right now, because we want to hit that shelter first. Not sure where that white lizard went. I assume it's still in the area. Take me to the triple room. Yeah. Go in here. That's a scavenger? No, it's bat flies. Combine a vulture grub and a mushroom. Gooey duck. What about that in a mushroom? Spore puff. It was a glow weed. I don't know if that's the name. Maybe. Probably. It's a circular egg looking thing that glows. Yes, eat sand. With half a food pip. Actually, did I hit the echo? Maybe I did hit the echo. I think I did hit this echo. Did I? What's my max karma at? I've hit two echoes. What other echo would I have hit, if not that one? I can craft one, but you didn't see one in shoreline. Okay. What about garbage wastes or uh, pipe yard or any areas that have water or anything? Okay, I guess just let me know what I need to either check garbage wastes. Okay. I'll head to garbage wastes. In which case, we can always do passages. I don't know if I hit this echo. I've hit two echoes. What other echo would I have hit if not this one? I must have hit it. I 
mean, worst case scenario, you can just tell me how to craft it, and I can craft it, but... Ask you when you'll bite the recipe. Yeah, the problem is we're just running out of time. And I want to do this in one stream. Uh, yeah, sure. What do I need to craft it? What? How did that not? What? You can't tell me that didn't hit his hitbox. Flashbang, jellyfish, and a lantern. Lantern with bubble weed is doable. We can do lantern with bubble weed. Those are both things I can pop out of my stomach. So if we find a popcorn plant or a good source of food, we can just... A hazer and a flashbang? Okay. I will keep all of this in mind. Unfortunately, I don't have any flashbangs. There may be a popcorn plant over here. Yes, there is. Okay. I can do some farming in that case. Okay. We have our two spore puffs. We're going to keep these here. Batweed, we don't. Oh, batnip, we don't need. Vulture grub, we don't need. Bubble weed was it was bubble weed and flashbang. Oh lantern and bubble weed actually. Okay, no, in that case bubble weed's a potential option. Let me bat nip. Don't need a mushroom. Vulture Grub and Bubble Weed? Okay. Must be a dead Vulture Grub, because live one doesn't seem to work. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Next thing is an egg bug. Okay. Oh, uh, where can we find an egg bug? You kind of just run into them. I'm just going to explore around and maybe we'll see one. They're just all over the place. Bug spawn locations. Uh, can't think of any. You buy off the top of my head. I don't. Hmm. This is this room. Um, oh, you didn't see me anyway. I think I might go to garbage waste to kill that red centipede, because I think red centipede was one of the things I needed too, right? You know what we could do, actually, is we could go to Pipe Yard. Maybe we'll find something in Pipe Yard. We'll also just explore the area a bit. I could see an egg bug being in Pipe Yard. Probably won't hang on to the spore puff for too much longer. Let's go through and see what pipe goat takes us. Egg bugs are weird. I don't know where to go to hunt an egg bug. I feel like the more things you just kind of find. And I'm sure they have specific dens they spawn in. Um, but I feel like they're just kind of like everywhere. So we'll see. I'm gonna ditch this warp off. That blue lizard was not very bright.
I could see an egg bug being a pipe yoke. This feels like it could be an egg bug yo yo. Oh, we haven't eaten a cyan lizard. We need a cyan lizard, too. If we see one, we'll be sure to eat it. We could probably get Wanderer. There's not actually too many regions off of that. Um, I mean, one of them being Outer Expanse, and then what's left? Sky Islands, Farmerways? Way further in the food journey than you? Well, I've been going at it for a few hours. Yeah, egg bugs are just kind of all over the place. You just gotta find them. It kind of surprised me the number of things that I didn't actually have to eat. Um, like not needing to eat a scavenger or uh, vultures or things. We may still need a red centipede. I think somebody had mentioned that, but whoop. worst case, we know there's one in garbage waste. We can. That could be an egg bug. That is a squid cater. Huh. We already ate a squid cater. And I don't even think it was on the food tracker. Maybe a white squid cater will be. It's worth a shot. Okay, no, squid cater is not on the food tracker. In any capacity. You may not be on the food tracker, but you are on the I am hungry tracker. What is this lizard doing? And fire from spear rifle? You mean like how to get the spear rifle or like what the attack button is? I can't tell what this pink lizard's doing. What the attack button is, I do not know. But this game doesn't have very many key bindings, so... There's a cyan lizard! Oh, we gotta wait for exhaustion to wear off, though. You need to load it first? That could explain it. an eye out for an egg bug, you know? Let's take some of these paths we haven't taken before. Because this connects to Sky Islands, uh, Subterranean, Doorline. There's a lot of places we could get from here. It's cool to figure out how. Uh, this looks like an unlock. Maybe not. Doesn't look like this goes anywhere. Uh, let's try off to the right there. That's where that cyan lizard went. Uh, we gotta get there though. I'm not sure if I can actually get there. Hold on. I have to. I don't know. We just have to go in here. Yeah, crafting does seem to be an effective way uh, to get a lot of the food on the food tracker. But oh, we're fine. We don't need to worry about that. I would, I'm not going to say we can't, but I would be surprised if it was easy to craft an egg bug. Oh, there's a shelter. Oh. Yeah, sure. I don't know Pipeyard's deal. I haven't been able to figure out where everything is in Pipeyard yet, so I'm interested to uh, explore all of that. I think we got all of our lizard food requirements, man. I think it was orange, cyan, mole, and salad, salamander, which we got. Let's check the right path. 
could have eaten that popcorn plant, but we're fine. We don't need food. Who needs to eat? Have we been here? We have not been here. Okay, new area. Music's popping. So far, Pikeyard has not seemed like a very dangerous area to be in, despite all the dangerous areas it connects to. That's a full-grown centipede. There's actually a lot of centipedes here. I don't think this one is big enough. Oh no, it's big enough to kill me. Always a tough question with centipedes. Oh, there's a red over there. I kind of wanted a red. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah, yeah, come here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, that didn't hit all of its segments. It wasn't a clean hit. Fuck. Okay. It might kill me here. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna try for a cleaner hit on that centipede. You know, we could also, uh, just foam more spore puffs. If we take this one, get rid of it, and get a bit of snacks. Hazer, don't care. Uh, mushroom, don't care. Yeah, I could craft... Hang on, was it... Oh, wait, I ate the hazer. Did this make a... No, it made a bubble weed. If we can get two spore puffs, we can definitely... We can cough up explosives? I mean, explosive could probably get us there. Potentially. and spore puff. I'm gonna try, uh... Maybe just mushroom in this. See what this gets me. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Mushroom and... Uh, rock gives you spore puff. We can go fuck this red centipede up now. Well, the red centipede was past a couple normal centipedes. Maybe I should have considered bringing a spear. I'm sure we'll be coming. Maybe I could craft an egg bug with a coma flower. Where on the chalk chart is Gourmand? What are my options? Oh, fuck off. Where did it go? <laughs> Hang on. Hey, yo, red centipede. Red centipede. Red centipede. Surely those two hits were clean enough. Oh, it went here. Huh. I don't know if we did enough to kill it.
Oh, don't tell me it. It totally did, didn't it? Fuck. Dude, this fucking drop wig. Okay, thank you, Vulture. God damn. Okay. I think he's a hefty chunk. I think he's a hefty chunk. I swear to fucking god. God damn it. I thought I could jump on the centipede and do damage to it. I guess it didn't fall far enough. It's not like it's difficult to kill this red centipede. It's not like it's difficult to kill any of these centipedes. I just didn't have a weapon. Kill a red centipede, so like it doesn't matter. Awkward situation, though. Awkward situation. Tonight you are the midnight command. What? How many more things are on Gorman's food tracker? I feel like there can't be that many. It's late and you're hungry. Oh, okay. God, get up there. I want my centipede snack. I also want to see what this place connects to over here. You're not the centipede snack I want, though. I've played as Spearmaster. I have played as all the slug cats. That is a juicy opportunity. Did he fucking parry me? fuck just happened? Souls. I don't trust that this centipede is dead. He's vibing. We can get a second spore up with this. Just gotta find a piece of debris. So maybe we could do it with a lantern. Yes, we can. I would have preferred to have this occur in a different spot, though. Okay. 
Surely it's dead now. Okay. Okay. Kill it with spears. Red centipedes are- you have to knock their armor off, which makes killing them as gourmand with spears. Pretty tough, because you throw the one spear, and then it fatigues you. And then... You're in an awful position, and the centipede is in a fine position. Bugs, man. I don't know if I like where I am right now. I don't know about this one. Not get up here? Oh, we can. Okay. Hope we don't get fatigued doing this. What does this make? Probably a bubble fruit. It makes a flashbang. Okay. So, blue fruit and a rock makes a flashbang. That is good to know. It kind of makes me feel like I'm in Sky Islands. The height that I'm at. The clouds and shit. A flashbang and spear. I don't think I can. It didn't seem like I could craft with spears. Yeah. I don't know if I can craft with spears. Uh, because I couldn't make exploding spears, and for similar reasons, I assume I can't make electric spears. God, where are the egg bugs at? I haven't found a single one. This got this has gotta be taking me to Sky Islands, right? This is such a long climb. We busted for co-op. Oh, Gourmand and co-op seems insane. Hey Moggy Jr. Yeah, this has got to be Sky Islands. Um, let's rest here. That seems like a good place to rest. Hope I can find an egg bug in Sky Islands. I know when I was playing as, um, Blueberry, there were tons of egg bugs in Sky Islands and in, um, Farmerways. So maybe I take that path and hope that that's still true here and I can find some. Flashbang stopped glowing. Wait. Is that... The flashbangs? Not work after one cycle? I don't know where I am in Sky Islands. Is center wing a meal I need? Maybe. I don't know. Let's find out.
Um, I'm not sure, Josh, but Josh, but we tried eating both of them, and neither one of them gave us food progress. Ah, center wing is something we need. Okay. Well, center wing obtained. I don't know where I am. I have no idea where this is. So, pro tip, the way center wings work. When center wings first see something, they establish it as either a... Or they see it as a threat. Um... And then they have an innate timer, a cooldown, um, to stop seeing it as a threat. After about 10 seconds, I think, a center wing goes from running in fear from you to relentlessly hunting you down to shock you and kill you. So if you see a center wing, you want to make sure to deal with it quick. It was just sitting there. It was just... We're not dead. It was just sitting there, not moving. We may be able to get freed by something. It's not very far to that shelter. But it doesn't look like there's really anything in the area is the problem. Oh lord, he's spinning. Oh, pole plant. Lizard dance. Good to know that pole plant is there. Damn, lizard's gonna fall off an edge with me. Looks like your dog with a chew toy. Well, lizards are basically oversized doggos. Oh, those are both pole plants. Okay, that's good to know. I think it'd be faster just to restart, but I, I really want to see if we can... Right, let's stop struggling and see if No, he's just he's just gonna spin. He's just gonna spin. He's showing me to his room? No, he's not. He's just spinning. Okay. So let's make sure we eat a center wing. Because we needed a center wing. I have a feeling like the food tracker, maybe it's two rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 22 things. Because we're at the point where I don't know how many more things there are that I haven't tried to eat that I could eat. Make sure to kill another center wing, which took two spears. But because of the mechanics of how they work, should be fairly doable. Spear. I guess it only did take one spear. Maybe the flashbang. Well, flashbangs wouldn't kill a center wing, right? They're not a. Alright. I feel like boost jumps are, with spears are a big part of Gorman's platforming. Because he propels himself so much when he throws a spear, but his slowness makes. The jump's difficult otherwise. Aquapedes? What is an aquapede? A jetfish? Oh, wait, no, no, no. The, the centipede. Right, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've seen an aquapede. The water centipede. Are those in shoreline? We haven't seen one of them. Go to hell. 
Uh, he just has that much muscle, Jeffrey. Alright, let's rest here so we don't have to do that again. Gorman defies physics? Gorman is physics. Look, Gorman wouldn't be dealing 3x damage if he half-assed his throwing. Right? Man knows how to commit. Or, uh, Slug Cat knows how to commit. Where is this? Is this the bottom of Sky Islands? Very well could be. Oh, there's one of these things. Maybe uh, this is a uh, food we need to eat. It is. Maybe it's more than two rows. Okay, okay. that didn't count. We didn't. We didn't actually die. It was. It was a coma flower. It was strategic. I was checking out if anything was down there. No, I was just- I was checking how the physics would interact with me falling to see if we were in, like, low gravity, right? I was just vibe-checking the planet. <laughs> God, Gourmand really has so... Flashback to this area's Gorbo. I can't hear that name without thinking of just Gorb in Hollow Knight. Uh... The gravity not being constant wasn't an issue. It was more the fucking photo long legs everywhere. Yeah, Gorb ascended. Oh, fuck. Lore? I still have no idea where the fuck I am. I'm not gonna lie. I don't recognize this area at all. Counts both squid caters separately? Well, you don't need to eat them, though. Like, they're not on the food tracker. Speaking of eating... Just gingerly grab the popcorn plant. God, man, where the fuck are these egg bugs? Where is anything? This entire place is dead. See that white lizard. I missed that white lizard. Hang on. But we can... I have an idea. Supposedly... Get fucked. Slid right into him. Slid into him so hard his physics broke. Still no idea where I am. Wait, 
Can I get out of here? Can I go down here? No? Okay. I didn't see a path to get out of there. Oh, I guess I could have gone to the right there. I didn't see that was a thing. Okay. I don't recognize any of where I am. I mean, it's possible these could just be new rooms added in Downpour, or they're just part of Sky Islands that I never go to and I don't recognize. I honestly have no idea. They're new? I think it's new rooms. That was what I- that was my initial guess, yeah. It, it, I, I honestly, like, I, whenever I go to Sky Islands, I always follow, like, the same path. I don't really go around to explore very much. So, you could tell me these were old rooms, and I would 100% believe you. Honestly, the platforming as Gourmand is actually kind of easy when utilizing the Spear Boost Jumps. Individual jumps, though. Repeated jumps are not. I still haven't figured out what the deal with these plants are, if they even have a deal. Or if they're just a, a fruit thing. I don't see that white lizard anywhere. Hello. Interesting, there's a pearl there. Doesn't look like a colored pearl. It may not be clear, but that was an extremely close jump. Because I think I needed to boost jump to make that gap. And my exhaustion wore off like half a second before that yellow lizard would have grabbed me. Almost signs of any egg bugs. I don't know. Hang on, did I see a Yeah, the second pool. I know where I am now. This is this room. I, th I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it just looks like a room I know. The next shelter has an egg bug spawn. Okay. Oh, this is this room. Okay. I know where I am now. Oh, wait. I don't have... This is fine. Let me just... Drop my spear. Take this. 
And so let me make a Spore Puff, and a Spore Puff can kill the Center Wing. You have Blueberry Flashbacks. And the Center Wing will get us the food we need to rest here. Oh, it's not dead yet. Okay. Yeah, it's so much nicer without the daddy long legs, you're right. It's almost like this is a reasonable area to play. Okay, let's see if this is the end of the food tracker, if it still wants more after this. Assuming that it's going to be the same as Blueberry and there's going to be the egg bug directly to the right. Oh, look at us killing that vulture. I did that. That was me. I remember doing that. You guys remember that? When I killed that vulture? the actual egg bug body. Okay. Is that it? That looks like it. It's not telling me anything else. Man, there were so many egg bugs here. Command a Home Depot chat. Oh, Dad. Uh. I, um. Y yes. Max size of the food track was 22. Well, we have 22. So I think we're done. Does this change our ending? Do we go to the outer expanse now and then that's what it... Actually, let me... Maybe it'll happen when I rest. Maybe it'll happen when I rest. Let's see. I don't need an answer. Uh, because this might be something that happens the next time we rest. Uh, so Noodle Fly was not part of the food tracker, interestingly. Okay, um, let me look at a map of, uh, oh, wait, real quick. There's a shelter right down here. Let's just hit that one. Because that way we will get to the, uh, five pebbles. <laughs> Called me fat. He did call me fat, yeah. I just realized I have not looked at Twitch chat in I don't know how long. I don't know, did this raid just happen? Was this a while ago? God, I've been, I had OBS closed and I wasn't looking at Twitch chat.
You just complete your gourmet one. Nice. And when could center wings jump in mid-air? What do you mean, jump? It, it did a little hop. Might just be a weird physics kit thing. I mean, they fly. You saw when Yumi move up in a sudden movement like it jumped and stopped moving its limbs. Was it the one that I spore puffed? Or I mean they're they're center wings. They just move weirdly. I mean. Okay. I'm assuming this is gonna change our ending because didn't get a cutscene or anything. Go to subterranean. You go finish the game. left shelter we have. This one's fine. We can just go there and then... Where's this? Oh, that's that's the path I took the first time. Um, are we anywhere near that? Eh, not really. I mean, once we get up there, I know where that is, and we just keep heading left and outer expanse. That's fine. I'll just get up there. Okay. It's also possible that maybe we spawn with something. No, I guess not. I was thinking maybe like a game would give me a child or something, but no. Food tracker's done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That mole lizard was sitting directly outside of... My place. There's no red. That's why this looks weird. Why is there no red? Alright, see it, Ewa. Uh, let me ditch my spear. That might... Our scav rep is not particularly good right now. Although, killing that mole lizard may have helped. That room was never red? Really? Are you sure? I feel like I remember that room being red. <laughs> Speaking of red... See if we can get the stuff together for a... Okay. We could get a spore puff. Kill that centipede. I see the debris down there. Although, I don't know if we'll be able to do it in one. Is the issue. Because we need a clean hit on like all its segments to get it with one spore puff. Right, let's see if we can cough up anything else. You have to jump map with a dance pad win. 
God, I can't even do like TF2 jump maps normally. I'm not good with those. Hazer might help. What happens if I combine a Hazer with this? Maybe I can't. Maybe it has to be dead. I don't know. What bat nib? A cherry bomb. Cherry bomb could help. Cherry bomb might help us um, evade the centipede, scare it off, or evade other potential predators. Mole worms don't see. Why would we care about mole worms? Okay, I think that centipede's about to die. Yeah, why would we care about mole lizards? We don't care about mole lizards. And cherry bombs are loud. They scare things off with noise. Yeah, no, we're not ascending. No. Why would we go ascend? We don't even have enough echoes. Camel yeah, versus red centipede. The centipede's dead. It's probably dead by the time we get back there. Yeah, it's gone. We hit that centipede with a spore puff. Uh. It was pretty much fucked. Sounded like something like burping. It's a weird ass noise. Expecting these blues to come back, but Kermo was freaking out. I think the centipede got the caramel before it died. Hole though. Can't seem to do this. If there was a large centipede in the way, but maybe I can drag centipede through here. Come on. If I can drag centipede through here, it will disappear. Come on. Come on. Get. Get. Probably dead. Yeah. We're not dead, dead. We're just stunned. And there are a lot of threats here. So we may be able to. I think it did eat sand. I think it did. Now we're dead. That was such a rough positioning, man. The centipede died in, like, the exact spot that I couldn't... Are you sure this place isn't red normally? Because I feel like this place is supposed to be red. This room. Got him. Got him again. It's red nearer to filtration. We're in filtration. This is filtration. We could have utilized... We could have been utilizing our slide a lot more. I haven't really been using it very much, but... It is a powerful bonk. Maybe we just go left. We avoid the down room with the monster kill. Because that room seemed like a clusterfuck. We need to go left, ultimately. We want to go west. I 
don't remember Gooey Ducks being up there. Let me know. Because this is this room, which is probably going to be an absolute clusterfuck. Trying to... Can these centipedes not hear? Centipedes. I know center wings can't hear. Red centipedes can, though. Oh, we can sit on this guy. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Get back here. Allow me to sit on you. Okay. This fucker's gonna steal my snack. New here, welcome, Sans. How are you? The worst possible timing. I didn't even know his nest was there. God damn. Try to get this mole lizard to follow us here. Well, he doesn't want to follow us. Maybe he doesn't now. Maybe he hurt us. Hey, yo. Dude, get over here. Hey, you want some. You want some. Ah, he's dead. Wait, no, he's not. Damn it, he just wounded. Now we don't get to eat him. Whatever. Taking this path left is a lot rougher than taking the path. I think people here are fellow Brits. I am not British. It's pretty late for you then, Marky, right? Isn't it like midnight over there? Almost 11. Mm. Okay, um, I guess we just try this again. I mean... Maybe we get a cleaner hit. Seems like it maybe worked. I don't know. Yeah, I see you, spider. Get out of here. Man, that's uh, not a room I'm looking forward to going in. Let's see if we can cough up something to make a... Um, 5 p.m. here. Uh, I'm on the east coast of the U.S., so it's almost 6 here.
Hoping to find something to do with these centipedes. Okay, that'll be a spore puff. Hopefully that'll be enough to kill that one. At least maim it to the point that it won't come back. Let's try to get a second one. That nip. Big centipede? Big centipede. A lantern. Mushroom. I think mushroom plus lantern made one. If you didn't know, these spore puffs, in addition to um, attracting reindeer, are also a pesticide. Or insecticide. Um... And they annihilate insects. Any centipede, even a red centipede with a good hit, um, will die from a single sport puff. Now, red centipedes are quite tanky, and a not clean hit will not kill a red centipede, but... And honestly, Gorman's mechanics are kind of fucking busted. Like, he has so many busted mechanics. And the only downside is, like, the slowing and exhaustion. Which, not that that's not a meaningful downside. I mean, it does suck. But he has so many busted mechanics thrown on him. Let's, uh, consume jump. What if I can do mushroom gooey duck? Go to the UK, it's godly there. What is there in the UK to do as, like, a tourist that's aside from just, like, walking around? Oh, it's just... Oh, that's the scavenger merchant. I know where I am. That means I'm... Okay. You know, for the name Gooey Duck? You mean in real life or in game? Like, a, a gooey duck's a real thing. It's a type of clam. It's a type of clam. So, like, you're breaking off the hard shell of the fruit to eat the thing inside. Let's not go to that mother spider. Yeah, the gooey duck, you know, that, have you ever seen that giant clam with, like, the massive tongue sticking out of it? The one that's like several feet long, I think. That's a gooey duck. There's a shelter here somewhere. Um, that's the scavenger merchant. It means I'm actually going the wrong way. I want to go down where that room where the mother spider was. I... I'm not that familiar with UK politics. So I don't know how much I can comment on the things you're talking about.
Who's gonna win? Monster Kelp or Dropwood? My money's on the Monster Kelp. Monster Kelp don't fuck around. Oh, Monster Kelp. Ended up just taking a... Of course there was another drop wig. Because why would... Why wouldn't there be another drop wig? Okay, well I know where I'm going now. Oh my god, dude. Come on. Wake his spine. Is his spine sufficiently broken? have any food that's national to them um i mean there's like the basic things of like fish and chips but there's also like uh, uh curry is a very british food um uh and there are there are british foods yeah You seem to have very good odds of pulling out either a mushroom to make a spore puff with, or just a straight spore puff as Gourmand. It's pretty easy to do. Speaking of spore puffs... There's the exact thing we wanted the spore puff for, but actually if it's leaving over there, we don't actually need to use the spore puff on it. Which means we can save our spore puff for the bigger centipedes down here. I have been wondering if Gourmand's fall damage is set or if it's based on like the speed you're moving at. Yeah, I've heard about the Prime Minister turnover rate and things. Uh, seem pretty silly. Uh, I just don't care about UK politics, so I don't know who these people are, other than the fact that they're, like, comically inept. Man, a lot of these spidey boys. Does this spidey boy want some? I can't tell if this spidey boy wants some. This is a big centipede in here, right? I can't see it. I think this spidey boy wants some now. We had to use one of our insecticides. Fun fact, if you didn't know, uh, spiders will also revive uh, dead spiders. Unless you very extensively kill them. 
We may be dead to this centipede here. Okay, we have to use our second spore puff. Spiders also, re I think, are the only enemy in the game that regenerates HP. Only one that I know of, at least. Okay, let's make some more spore puffs. This is a very insect-heavy area. Monster kelpy kelp. We don't have a spear, do we? Hmm. Maybe we can. Oh no. Okay. Here, would you like a spore puff? Would you like a spore puff? Monster kelp are movement based. He doesn't know. He knows. Oh, but okay. Centipede came at an opportune time. Yes, if you're heading down to the subterranean, spore puffs are a very good choice to bring as support. Does it affect drop wigs? I think it affects. He seems to be freaking out, which is the normal response to having a spore puff. Okay, yeah, it even affects drop wigs. Which actually means spore puffs are a decent answer to the question of what to do if a drop wig's blocking a path that you need to go down. Gotta go be thinking of you back later. Okay, I won't be streaming for too much longer, uh, just as a heads up. We're just gonna go to Gorman's area and finish the game. Oh, my lizard, huh? And a spitter spider. I don't want to fuck with that. Spitter lizard and spitter spider. Oh, Gorman's final area, by the way, if you haven't seen it, is absolutely gorgeous. It is very beautiful. And I am excited to go back there. Wait, this is just this room. But that means... Hold on. How do... I get... Up. Do I have to go the long way? I guess maybe I have to go the long way. Uh, which means I kind of want to die here so we can passage to the better shelter.
Because I was gonna... Didn't I already have this? Because I was kind of... means that's where that path leads. Okay. They're on console or PC? Um, I don't know if the DLC is out yet on console, so I would say PC. Uh... Fuck, but we can't. Maybe if I go up there, I can... You get access to mods and stuff on PC. I would say PC. Maybe if we go up there, we can find a way left? I don't know, though. I don't... We could also... Yeah, where did this come from? Or is this the way from Pipe Yard? I think that's the way from Pipe Yard. But, like, we need to get there, but we can't, because it's the giant ledge there, and there's no way for us to go here. I can try going up there, and maybe we'll find a path around. I think that's a new... New spot. I thought it, it looped, but no. Maybe this will take us up to like the scavenger area, like way up top, and then from there we could go down left. Because as is, I think it's very difficult to get. Oh. Did this get lineaged in? I think it did. Huh. That's awkward. What hell am I holding? Lots oh, of vulture grub. Is probably the, the play here. I'd like to grab the hazer, though, please. Come on, grab the hazer. Grab the. God damn it. Please. Please stop grabbing the non-hazer things. <laughs> stop. Stop. Why don't you want the hazer? Jesus. We don't even need it anymore. I don't know, I'll, I'll try going up there. Might have gotten us some scavenger vet. Fighting that centipede with him. I, I need this spear. I can't give it to them. I think I need that to get up here. What the fuck just happened to my spear?
it it went in the, okay yeah no let's uh let's get out of here kindly kindly let me out please please let me out thank you This is... No, it's not. This is a different room. <sighs> maybe this... I don't know where I am right now, but maybe this is... a good spot to be in. New music, new area. Monster... Kelp? Salamander. Oh, we don't have anything to deal with. Kelp now, though. But if we go up here, we probably just jump past it. Can we go up there? Hold on. Oh boy, uh, give me the fog. Oh, I not give me the fog. Okay, evasive maneuvers. I think we're going to the right area if it's... Can I combine fog and bat fly? Oh, sorry, not fog. Uh, I guess not. Okay, but I think I can combine... I know I can combine... Fuck, that was a gooey duck! Damn it! I managed to bait the spider into the worm grass, though. If I can get that gooey duck... up here. Oh, I see him, Augie. Okay, we have a swarp up now, so we can defend ourselves. This is... I know where this is. I know where this is. Okay, we're pretty much there. Okay, so that's how you get back left, if you're on that side of the thing. We have to get past a caramel lizard, though. Oh, it's about to rain. We could just wait out the rain cycle, because the shelter's right there. Alright, I'm hoping he's going to try to path to me. We could jump on his head, but it's not going to be enough to kill him, is the problem. And then he may just snap and bite us. It's about to rain, so he should be fleeing. Yeah, it looks like he's fleeing. 
He is also clipping his legs through the floor. We may need... Okay, no, these are baby centipedes. That's fine. Okay, we should be clear to go to the outer expanse now. And then from there to the slug catchery. And the game. I killed a scavenger? How did I kill a scavenger? Fuck, I hope that doesn't reduce my scavenger rep. There's, there's scavengers in the outer expanse. Like a lot of them, from what I remember. We killed it during the centipede fight? Maybe. Uh, I guess we go up there, because it doesn't look like there's much here. There's a red light, which is interesting. Okay. Five pebbles told us to fuck off and leave. So that's exactly what we're doing. It's also possible I might have fallen on a scavenger. Let's rest here just so we don't have to make this trip again. This is a whole area. I haven't really explored this area very thoroughly. But I also don't want to spend too much time exploring because um, I have a cutoff time somewhat soon. I want to eat dinner before then and I want to beat the game. Ah, and we got the, uh, the Wanderer. It's my favorite slug cat ending. Blueberry slug cats, easily. Actually, no, it looks like we gained scavenger reputation. I think because we fought alongside the scavenger several times. You can see our scav rep there. It was uh, maybe like 30%. Yeah, I think the most important things to keep in mind for Gourmand... I think, so far, the most useful crafting that I found for Gourmand has been... Hey, Romeo. Crafting the spore puffs with just, like, a mushroom and, like, fucking anything. Um, crafting the things for the food tracker. And crafting explosives. Now, there's a lot more you can craft. I'm sure you can craft a fuckload of shit. Um... But so far, those have been the things to me that have been, like, super, super good. Especially the Spore Puffs. They have made the Subterranean much easier. Basically, anything you craft with a Gooey Duck turns into four food pips. Interesting. Okay, and we're here. What's up, Romeo? The Sunken Pier. You can craft Gooey Ducks. Yes, a Gooey Duck is a fruit and a rock. Any tips on the don't dig up seed? Uh, get pylon set up. And a house for the tax collector. Uh, you can use an ocean pylon to get to the surf surface if you head off to the side. Um, if you head to the side of the world, you need an ocean pylon. Did I just hit a monster kelp? No. This isn't the, even the beautiful area yet, but this area is very... Uh, Atmospheric. And the Crimson Seed. 
It's very dark. The surface is very tough to navigate. Yeah, it's got a nice aesthetic. Uh... Oh, this went up to, like, a, a whole area up there. I remember that now. Right. But it took me a while. So this is something that took me a while to realize when I was playing Gorman for the first time. Um, and probably two or three cycles of dying due to a lack of time. Um, I'll explain it when we get there. Make sure to check up left. Why? Hey, that was on you guys, not on me. God damn it. I shouldn't have walked through with my spear, but... I should have just dropped it. So, Josh. What is checking up left going to accomplish? Is there something hidden up there to discover? And up left where? The sunken pier? The outer expanse? What is up left? You don't have to be descriptive, but just... I don't know what up left means and why I should be checking there. Like, through here? You see something in a certain room. But, like, where? Because there's a lot of up left. The approach end of the area. Are you talking about the slug cat that shows up for a brief second? if it's the same every time. Okay, I remember the room that happens in. It was right next to the shelter in the outer expanse. With the fox. it changes. I remember seeing a black slug cat when I had done it. Welcome back, Clover. Uh, you can't follow them. They spawn in locations you can't access. Or they spawn in a location you can't access. Did you catch right at the end? Yes. Is this a scavenger toll? Is that why they got mad at me? It didn't look like a toll. I didn't see them handing their hands out, but maybe it was. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, we can pay a toll. He's pointing 
his spear at me. He feels threatened. Let me stick around and see the reward. How did you get a karma flower? They don't seem to be tall scavengers. Why? Why are they... Probably act a pearl or something. It's a toll. But they're not doing the toll thing. Like, they're not handing out... They're not waving at me to stop. They're not handing out their hands. Asking me to give them something. <clears throat> but if we do some crafting, we could probably pay a toll. Pearlis bomb. I know what a pearl is, Lilium. That hit both of them? Who's the best um, iterator? Me. I am. Okay, let's start doing some crafting. That nip. Mushroom. Okay, there we go. That's most of the way there. Actually, we can just take this and go find some rocks. We can get a pull out of it. Got him. Pearl is 10 scav value, yes. Which is how much you need to pay a toll. You don't need to give them pearls to pay a toll. All you have to do is give them items that accumulate to 10 value. Cost for tolls was eight? No, it's ten. giant orbs on the trio. They're just big lamps. What tree? Big light looking things are so cool. I haven't been paying that much attention. What are we looking at? Is there a tree with orbs on it? If we die again, I'll take a closer in the background. I, I'm not seeing any right now though. Was it the tree we passed already? main tree that like the survivor and monk come from has the big tree. What? He feels threatened. Big orb top right. Oh, those things. You mean top left? 
That thing up there, the glowy thing? Oh. Yeah, I don't know what that is. One of those is on top of Survivor's Nest Tree thing? You mean in like his opening cutscene? paid that much attention to his opening cutscene. Well, maybe if he didn't want to be food, he shouldn't be so tasty. Okay, no, they're waving me through. I guess it is a toll. Huh. I have to be careful because I'm going to land on a scavenger and kill them. And aggro them. Did centipedes not swim? Which has happened to me, paying a toll, and then landing on a scavenger immediately after the fact. Okay, but this is what I did not... It took me forever to realize. This is a shelter. These rooms are shelters. I seem to have somehow gotten out of this with a scavenger's gear, and the scavenger is no longer here. The gate shelters are so cool. Yeah. But, like, they look like gates, so, like, you don't think... In what idea every shelter is gate shelter? I think every... Ugh. That shelter symbol was the original one in development. Interesting. Yeah, they left me a present. That was very polite of them. But now I think we're in the really cool part. The really beautiful area. Which is the outer expanse. This area is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. My scav rep drop, drop at all the previous gifting, not give free tolls yet. Uh, it was casually dropping. There were a few times we may have in gotten some scavengers killed and things. And uh, Fuck this game. Fuck the climbing controls, man. If you didn't see what happened there, I was climbing up and then it went on the half... Like the horizontal pole. And then I was... Going to the side, uh, free tolls is 90 plus reputation, which is more than chieftain. Depending on the character. Different characters, um, have chieftain granted for different scavenger reputation. I think most of them, chieftain is around, like, in the 80 range, and you need 90 for free tolls. And free tolls also lower your reputation, if you don't pay. Or maybe it's you need Chieftain for free tolls without losing rep. And you can do it with like 40 or 50 rep, but you lose rep. One of the two. You were still just like that was 100% with scavs to start, and they you work with the scavs? Yeah. The anti-artificer. 
So you cannot lose the passage, but you can lose rep with them after obtaining chief chieftain. Once you obtain the rep required for chieftain, though, uh, the passage will not go away. Well, it doesn't even have to be like they're intimately working with scavengers. Like, they don't have to be doing something for the goal of helping scavengers, but they can just be on good terms with scavengers and be allied with them. Right? Like... I managed to miss that bomb. Goddamn. I'm gonna be died of caramels. Okay. They got distracted with each other. Leave me alone, caramels. Come on. No need to be rude. I'm gonna go left there. Or maybe that's just a noodle fly area. How do I get... I guess I have to go off to the side there. Interesting. I guess I can't get through there. I'm gonna take the other path. I think I remember this room and hating this path. Up, but like I can't go up. There's a vertical tube path? It doesn't look like there is. The first patch of worm grass was under a pole that led to a V-tube in the little island. What does the worm grass being a V-tube have to do with anything? I mean, this whole place loops around. I know we can just take another path to get to where we need to go. But we can try that one again. Caramel lizard room's kind of annoying, though. Get out of here, Squid Cater. What if OE unlocked the blueberry slug cat? And you just kill all the slug cats with egg? What? Outer Expanse. Oh, I see.
Reach her with Wormgrass hair that latches on and devours bit donations. Leeches in this game are actually really different than I IRL. Jungle leeches, the green food leeches. I think jungle leeches are their official name. Um, I just call them food leeches. Uh, those ones suck you dry. But like, that's not. I can't. I can't even get up there. Like, it's not... There's nowhere for me to go in there. Like, I can't get around... One, I can't even, like, get on the ledge. Two, if even if I get on the ledge, I can't go in that. Because I can't get up there. Because the, th the, the, the platform blocking me. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Exactly, Clover. That's what I thought, but then Josh said we could get through here. But I can't, like, I... I can't climb that. What are you talking about? Yeah, you can climb the pole, but you can't get to the ledge on top of it because the ledge is blocking it. And you can't get in the the arrow tube. That's why we didn't go in there the first time. I thought, like, you had told me something that I was missing, but, like, you can't. The only way you might be able to do that, I think, is, like, pouncing. Spearing things is difficult because spears propel you a lot as well, man. And they're also going to fatigue me, and then I'm going to fall down into the worm grass below. But, like, we can just go around. We don't have to go that way. Like, there are three paths here. From hand when they blend in with the background. Yeah, we really are the same color as the, uh, the clouds in the background. What are the lower implications of this? It is very beautiful, yes. I think this path was the one we wanted to take. Yeah. Because this takes us there. Let me go left into that water. Yeah. Wait, no, this is this room. Hold on. This takes us here. Oh, there was a second path in the water down there. And that's the path we want to take. Or 
Most of that gold man is an ambush predator. So am I. On to each slug have a slightly new main world in the one region of their own. Well, this region isn't specific to Gourmand, because once you do it for Gourmand, you unlock uh, it for all of the other slug cats after Gourmand on the timeline, right? But I get what you mean. I want to go down in that water there. Pipe cat, pipe cat. Okay. It has submerged as others too. Yeah. But you can't fully navigate submerged as others, right? This where we want to go? Yeah, keep heading left. I was thinking about it, Clove. But I might sometime this week. The one and only, only El Gordito. Fucking food leeches. We gotta slam up against something to get rid of him, I think. Maybe we can just... Slide? Didn't seem to work. Well, if we go in a shelter, that should get rid of it. I think they're called jungle leeches. I think food leeches is a more descriptive name because that's what they do. They leech your food. Getting there. Found the Goldman playstyle kind of hard compared to the other slug paths. It's very different. One, you're much more of an ambush predator because of your exhaustion mechanic. Green bean leeches, that's also a good name. Um, Gourmand is an ambush predator who's going to get fatigued easily if you try to have extended combat, but is extremely powerful in short-term combat. Um, you're able to hide in pipes and drop and crush things, which is very powerful. Um, you're able to slide into things. You're able to spin around a fuck ton. Um, and Gourmand can also just, like, mass-produce things with crafting. Like, spore puffs, if you're ever in the subterranean and you deal with insects, are extremely easy to craft as Gourmand. You can craft explosives fairly easily. Um, 
Don't know about corpse launches. Is that like taking corpse into pipes to give you velocity? Do I like green beans? I don't really eat green, be green beans very much. Uh, then I'm not sure I do, Clover. Egg bug. You're walking on factor as long as you have food. Yeah, and if you have like a popcorn plant, you can also produce pearls. You can craft a fuck ton of things. You can craft singularity bombs. Um. But that comes at the price of the fatigue and whatnot. Hmm. You can craft pearls, yes. It is an explosive and a rock. And you can craft explosives, which are just cherry bombs and a rock. Vulture mask plus almost anything also makes a pearl. Okay. But for the sake of pearl things, like, you'd probably use them to trade with scavs and... Vulture masks already give rep, so you get you let you get a little more rep out of a vulture mask. I think they're normally two rep, or sorry, eight rep, and pulls are ten rep. You like that treat music? What region is this? This is the outer expanse, which is unlocked through Gorman's campaign. Yes, if you sit in that one pebbles room, uh, you'd have infinite. Uh, resources. Uh, King Vultures are 10. King Vulture Masks have the same value as a bow. You can craft jellyfish, yeah. You can also just make your food better. Like, let's say you have two blue fruit and a rock. You can turn that two food into four food. Because you t turn one of them into a gooey duck, and then you eat it as a meal with the other one, and you turn two into four. So Gourmet's food requirements, along with being able to eat anything, are actually very easy to fulfill. I think meals always give A item plus B item plus one. That is the math of what I said. Yeah. Gooey ducks are two food. So a gooey duck plus a fruit would be three plus one, which is four. Oh, sorry. I think it's blue fruit and a mushroom that makes a gooey duck. I think blue fruit in a rock makes a flashbang. Oh, there's a slug cap. I didn't see that slug cap before. That one's new. That was a white slug cat jumping away to the top left. That was not the slug cat I saw the first time. Maybe we'll see another one too. Can I follow that slug cat somewhere? If I follow that slug cat, will anything happen? I'm running short on time, so I really don't have long. Simple yes or no. That That's not a yes or no, Annabelle. I mean, I can't even follow it there. I know where- I mean, I've beaten the game as Gourmand before. I know what- Okay. Water, worm grass, that is, like, impossible to see. Fuck me, I guess.
Way to kill the vibe. Jesus. Yeah, I thought they only spawned in places you couldn't access. It's possible I might have seen that one the first time and just missed it. Fuck Wormgrass, you lost so much karma to it in farmer ways. Wormgrass sucks, yeah. So, the way Wormgrass works, if you don't know, blue Wormgrass, unless it's very... Generally, blue Wormgrass, as long as you jump and keep moving, you can get through it, even if it touches you. Um, You kind of just want to keep moving for Wormgrass. But there are a lot of situations that's not really an option. You run through red worm grass and live. It depends on where it is. Some red worm grass you can run through, but a lot you can't. Guess this lizard didn't learn its lesson from the other one. Oh, come on! Dude, Gourmand has this annoying mechanic. Which is only, as far as I know, in Gourmand. Um, which is, throwing your spear moves you forward a lot. Which is really helpful for making jumps. It's really annoying in situations like that, where you're trying to just sit still and throw a spear. You want a slug house campaign just to put lawnmower and mow the farm ways. Is the wormgrass still alive in Saints campaign when everything's frozen over? Hey, there he is again. We're drop quick. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. We're drop quick. It's mostly dead. Nice. Saint campaign, best campaign. Wormgrass dead. Uh, we want to go down here. Way to the next shelter after that? A lot of swimming sections. Okay. One more shelter after this, and then we'll be done. I like some of the scenic um, shelters that were added in Downpour as well. But yeah, like I know the red worm grass, if you're taking the path as hunter, um, the path as hunter to outskirts in farmways, it takes you over a, 
reindeer area, but you don't need to ride the reindeer because you can just jump through the worm grass. There's a giant fruit or a tiny slug cap. Well, the whole thing with these things are they're embellished stories that Gourmand is telling to baby slug cats in the tree, right? Trying to make himself look cool. The console you don't know down for. Fair enough. Patches you try to get through a red and big. Red worm grass is generally very difficult to get through. And often cannot be gotten through. Um. Right, give me one sec. Was it a reindeer section? I think red worm grass is generally only present in reindeer sections. Can you let me up there, please? Okay, okay to jump and toss it away and artificial jump. Oh, that's a dropwood. I probably should have identified that based on the fact that the worm grass was pointing upward. With the patches between. Ah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Ain't there any gain knowledge here because you're on console. Fair enough. What do you struggle? Uh, it's just the worm grass. Um. I mean, are they in the reindeer sections? The worm grass that you're having trouble with? Is it like attracting the reindeer that's the issue? Is it the non-reindeer sections? If Spore Puffs killed Wormgrass, you might actually like Fomaways. Now, best it can do is attract an inconsistent reindeer to try to take you off with the Wormgrass. You know, there are spears here. The easier path to do this would just be to down spear. Why did I not down spear? What? I must have grabbed the wall. And wiggled like I was trying to make my ass fall off. You know, like the RNG of attracting reindeer. That's fair. Man, this fucking drop wig. Get spore puff, nerd. Hey, you're not dead. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? What? I get that they were exhausted spear throws, but... A spore puff? And two exhausted spear throws didn't kill the drop wick? The 
hardcore they activated wider reindeer with spears and the antlers you had to ride it while fending off blue lizards. I don't know, man. After being attacked by vultures a few times on reindeer over the course of the blueberry run, I don't know if I wanted to do combat on reindeer. the spears are heat seeking yeah god that reminds me if you haven't seen it i made a short of it and uploaded it on its own uh but the clip where i um get past the reindeer section as blueberry and uh i get attacked by two myros vultures on the reindeer and then i fend off the first one with a gravity bomb and then the second one, I get flinged across the last... Or flung across the last patch of worm grass. God, like, this situation right here. Come on! Maybe I could... Of course not. Of course we'd throw it over there. If I down spear here... Yeah, I know about throwing spears up, but that doesn't really help here. It's a very niche... thing to do. I can't even get up there. You can throw spears upward with a backflip. Yeah. Can I do that with spore puffs? But I would get hit by the worm grass. And like, this isn't a terrain I can easily backflip on is the problem. To get close enough to backflip, like, I can't... To get close enough to backflip, I have to put myself in drop. I mean, I could try it, like, Here, but this is gonna miss. Okay, it looks like I spore puffed it and the worm grass got it. What an awful place for a drop wick. God damn. Just book it? I probably will. We don't need to hit the next shelter. There's another slug cat by the next shelter, but... At this point, I, uh... am running over time. I'm keen on finishing. Video cult really put that there and thought this will give someone help. That, like, it has to be coded to go right on top of that thing, right? Like it... I'm gonna die to this fucking centipede. I tried to pin it to the wall. But then it moved too fast. God, I would really like to just finish the game. Because we're right here. I have stuff I need to go do.
Well, no, no, no. It doesn't spawn in in that trap location. It chose to set up its trap there. Clover. You can tell this because of the other times it did not choose to set up its trap there. And the fact that it... Yeah. And its den was directly next to it. So it just immediately went there. I mean, we can see it again this time and see if anything changes with it. But, like, I don't want to use my spore puff because I want my spore puff for the centipede. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, it did it again. God, oh, fuck this thing. Fuck this drop wig. Okay, it's dead. Right side, I only have to, like, one-tap most things in Squawman, including drop wigs. Much better than when I was doing, like, Blueberry and we had to do, like, two or three spears to kill a single drop wig. This lizard can go to hell. Whole game's gonna feel easy after Blueberry. But we don't have gravity bombs anymore. Eggs were arguably as dangerous to me. Eh, not really. Hey, yo, frogs. Probably use these frogs to get the leeches off of me. Why am I not fog jumping? Come on. Is it because the fog has leeches on it? Journey's end, Terraria? Let's hit this shelter just in case, because I don't trust this fucking area. I do like that. If you didn't know this, this is a neat trick you can do. Centipedes that spend a cycle in a shelter will die. Even large centipedes. Uh... Where 
get that? I know I've done this before. Even reds, yes. There we go. Interesting. So normally a slug cat spawns over here. I wasn't sure what would happen if we went there first, but it seems like... Um... The slug cat doesn't spawn. But let's go up here and see if the slug cat's still there. Yeah, there he is. There he is. I think it is a random slug cat, because last time it was a black slug cat, like a night cat looking thing. This time it was light blue. It's Nosk. Centipede may kill us. Okay, no. Yeah, you will recognize these guys from Blueberry's campaign if you were there when we were Chimney Canopy. But these are yeeks. And they jump. They're like squid caters, but jumpy boys instead of floaty boys. They look like jetfish? I could see that, yeah. You've hit a red centipede with more than 20 spore puffs and sandbox testing around and they lived. Um. Did you do this? Did you hit all of those segments? Did you do it instantly? Or what? Because that doesn't sound right. Alright, we made it. Look at them, there they go. We're carrying the fog with us too. He's our snack. There they are, there's all of them. That green one's got a spear. Oh fuck, he's owned. Came back with dinner. Yeah. So let's see if anything changes since we um did the food tracker. Hey, yo, it's Spearmaster! Oh, is this new? Oh, is this the food? Did I regurgitate food for them? Was I storing it inside me? I recognize those foods. I ate those foods. Oh wait, does this imply that... I recognize this area. This is the ledge where Survivor gets knocked off in the beginning, isn't it? The food quest goal was to learn the best and worst meals. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, well... Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. 
it seemed like Survivor may have been one of the ones that, that fell off there. But I recognize that that ledge. Okay. Um Alright. I'm gonna guess forty five hundred. Forty five hundred is my guess. Oh, food quest completed is 300 points. Hold on. That changes everything. I'm going to guess like 6,000 now. Actually, it looks like 5,000 is about right. We'll do a 5x multiplier. The Blue Lizard Massacre. Well, if they didn't want me to eat them so much, they shouldn't have been so delicious. Oh, no, we have a 6x multiplier. So, 5 to 6,000. The range win. 56, 70. No red denim. Pups can now be found in sandbox mode and some campaigns. That's... Oh, we have a new... That is quite the ending. Holy fuck. What is that outlook? Reload the save? Respawn with a pup or something? Oh, we spawned with pups. Nice. And we're in a different spot, too. Nice. Oh, we've already seen pups. We had children doing, uh, uh, blueberry. These ones, unfortunately, are not bombs. I am really running short on time, though, so I gotta end the stream. Uh, yeah, bye, everyone. I would assume it's the ones after Gormand that are able to access the Slugcat tree, if I were to guess, Clover.